In this video, I have to beat the two box challenge on every single Call of Duty Black Ops Zombies map. Now, this is actually the last video to end off the two box series, which is mental to think about. The only one we haven't done now is World at War, and I don't really plan on doing that unless you guys ask for it. But let me know down in the comments below if this is something you would like to see. If you guys do enjoy this video, make sure to drop a like on it. And if you want to see more content like this, why don't you subscribe? It's completely free, and we recently just hit 25,000 subscribers. All I want to say is just a massive thank you. So, you know what? I want to try and hit 30k before the end of of April. Absolutely ambitious, I know, but I know we can do it. With all that said, enjoy this video. Right, okay, Kino Der Toten, the first of many Black Ops 1 maps we're going to be playing today. Now, as you can see on the right, I have introduced a new element to videos, hand cam. Let me know who, what you guys, like, think of it. I, 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 I don't know, I, I don't show my face in videos, I don't like showing my face in videos, you know. I just, I don't know, I, I've never seen a reason for it. Plus, it means I can capitalize on it later once the channel grows a bit more. I'm joking, I'm joking, I'm not, I'm not. No, seriously, I just don't see a reason to show my face. You guys enjoy the videos regardless, so you can have my hands. There you go, show them the camera. There you go. Anyway, right, we need to kind of deduce where this box is, and unfortunately, until we get the power on, we really can't do that. So, as per usual, we are permitted to buy Quick Revive, we're permitted to buy Juggernaug, Speed Cooler, Double Tap, and the Mystery Box. We are not permitted to spin the box more than twice, and we are also not permitted to pick up War Guns. Knife this for good luck. For all we know, the box could be on that side of the door, or it could literally be, like, out in the alleyway, and I could miss it completely. But I usually do those, I run all the way through to the theatre, so I'm going to try and do that this game. I'm going to try, hopefully, get a max ammo as well, so we can retain the ammo in our M1911, just so we have something to actually shoot with. Because, like I said, once this runs out of ammo, we cannot use it. And we also can't pick up any other weapons, whether it just be the setup. It, it literally, it's, I do things strict around here. I think with a lot of YouTubers, they tend to have a round where, like, it's, it's like a, a grace period. But with me, no, 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 we do it straight off the bat round here. And that's what I like about these videos. It actually makes them really, really challenging. You've got to come up with, like, crafty ways to get stuff done. For example, it's round two, and I'm already using grenades. All right, okay, let's use the knife on this guy. And we have around 2k points. I'm going to hold off on buying Quick Revive for now in favor of having enough points to get to the box. Saying that, I'm going to open the door and have a look. Nope. Is it down here? Okay. It doesn't appear to be down there. All right, okay. It's still round three. We've got our grenades at our disposal. We can definitely still use our melee. It's very effective. I don't like that. Two, three, move, 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 move. Yeah, I really don't like the two-hit system. I was honestly thinking about playing this game modded. I would have said something at the start of the video, honestly. Just with a three-hit system, because the two-hit system is ridiculous. But then again, it makes the video more entertaining, because it's more challenging. Max ammo, that is what I was hoping for. With a bit of luck, the box should be behind the door that leads into the dressing room. If not, I'm going to ditch power for a minute, and I'm going to head out to the alleyway, because I think that literally means it can only be there. Can someone in the comments also tell me, is it possible for the Kino box to spawn? Spawn in spawn from round one. Is that a thing or is that just not possible at all? I'm really, really curious about that. This is what I mean about the two hit system, man. Oh my god. Ugh. All right, in favor of being, you know, actually serious about this challenge, we're going to give it another bash. Um, I don't know why my game feels stuttery. I kind of tabbed out now. It's all weird, but whatever. Box isn't there again. It could mean it's down there. I don't know. I don't know. It could also be down there, couldn't it? I can check from here, can't I? Uh, it's from the opposite end, so it would be, what, this way? Wait, no, this doesn't lead down anywhere playable, does it? I always think it does. I don't know why. All right, let's get this door open then. I'm literally just trying to speed run the map to see where the box is at. It's not there. Is it in there? Um, right, it's looking like it's in the alleyway, actually. Oh, it could be behind the stage. We haven't thought of that. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. It means we're going to have to go another round regardless. Ow. This video is definitely going to be a challenging one, man. Really want to clock if it's like behind that. You can't tell though, can you? All right, round three. We can build some decent points here without, you know, any ammo. We've got grenades. We've got our melee. Just need to, you know, keep our distance. Um, How much is this door? 1250. Okay. It could be behind the stage or it could be in the alleyway. Either way, I'm paying a ridiculous amount of points to even get access to the box. Okay, I'm literally just trying to speed run this. Right, that's 1250, and then the box could potentially be behind the stage. If not, we are shit out of luck, and we have to go around the alley. Okay, that's what I like. Make some crawlers, so we can get some Ely melees on them. Ely? Easy. One, two, three. That's probably going to be a direct hit on most. I hit none of them. Okay, got some crawlers again. Got to be careful with this guy, though, because he's a full zombie, and he's charging at me. I hate the two-hit system. Right, please just be behind here. Oh, my God. Right, at least we can get power on. It's in the alley. That sucks. Oh, that is really annoying. Not good for the bones. 
There are a couple more zombies over here. That's probably only going to let us get quick revive, though. You can strafe it, right? You know, you can get some really easy melees on them. And that's not even enough for quick revive. Brilliant. Let's just hope it's not early dog round. Otherwise, we're probably going to be seeing an early death again. Get that on there. Do you get 300 points? Oh, nope, you don't. on be one. That's a shame. There's also going to be Nova Crawlers in the mix now. Give me that 20 point. Right, there we go. Grab quick. At least now we're not going to lose the run completely. And once we go down, we also have a weapon to fight with, which is the Mustang and Sally. So I'm trying to work out how much it's going to be to get in the box here. 750, 1,000, 950. So that's... Oh, that's a lot of points. We need like 3k. Bounce that down there. See what that does. Oh, no, 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 no. Squeeze through there. Brilliant move from me. I feel like a football commentator right now. See what that does. Loads of crawlers. Lovely stuff. Double points. Just another grenade here. Oh, you're still charging at me, though. All right, crawlers, 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 crawlers. Not you, guys. Oh, uh, why are they, like, marginally faster than the other ones that I've just... Damn, I've lost the double points now. What a load of hogwash, bro. Is there actually any full-size zombies left? Yeah, there's one. Okay. I feel like I'm on the street begging for change right now, man. That last zombie's gonna sprint as well, which is really concerning me. Oh, get past him. Okay. Right, 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 right. I think we just have enough, maybe. I don't know. I don't know if my mat's right here. All right. There you go. This is a thousand, right? Not 1250. Thousand. Yeah, we got access to the box. Let's go. Please just bless me up. Please, 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 please. please. Something decent. Is this some kind of sick joke? Like, right, we have another hit, but this actually has to be some kind of, like, practical joke. You have to be, like, having me on. This can't be real. I just slaved. Oh, and it, that, was, that rocket just went through him. Okay. Right. So I just absolutely clutched up. Oh, insta kill them, man. I'm going to shut my mouth. Never mind. The game loves me. It's fine. But yeah, no. The, the, getting the law after doing all that work, bro. I'm doing too much. Dog round. Okay, I'm going to need this insta kill. Holy moly. That was a blessing in disguise. All right. Okay. Grab this now. Need to be careful of them, though, because they usually get the jump on you first. Unless you've just got A class reaction times like myself. I'm joking. I really have got to use this insta kill. Yeah, clear this round. Lovely. And we can also get our last hit on the box here. Yeah, please, 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 please. Just be a weapon I can use. Just something. I, bullets, bullets, please. Oh my god. Okay, round 20 is looking like a fever dream. Okay, 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 okay. The China Lake and the M72 law. Could this have been any worse? Mm, can't, could it have? No, I genuinely don't think it could have. Okay, right, well, we're not getting jugged till about round 25 because we're not earning any points. Also turns out that these two weapons, for some reason, are the slowest in the game. The China Lake looks like it would weigh about four feathers worth of weight. I understand the law because it's a literal rocket launcher, but this is a grenade launcher. Why do I run so slow with this thing? Also, explosions on BO1. You literally, you get too close to it, you're going down. It's actually just wraps. Can I get rid of him? Nope, I missed. Brilliant. Can I get past these? Yep, nice. Can I use the law? Probably not. It's probably a good idea to use this. I cannot believe I am attempting to get a round 20 with a China Lake and an M72 law. You know, this is just the stuff I have to get up to, though, and that's a max ammo. I'm going to try and utilize this and end this round before I pick that up. To be fair, it's only round 6 and it's doing quite a bit of damage. I'm happy. All right, reload. Are we reloaded in this? No. Hang on. Yep, slowest reload known to man. There we go. Max ammo. Lovely stuff. End this round. Honestly, we're not too far off getting jugged. This could go quite well if I play my cards right. The only issue is my sprint. I'm not going to be training for anything. Okay, yep, and it's already starting to make crawlers. Brill. In what world did Treyarch think, yeah, let's put two grenade launchers in there? Yeah, you know, you know, like how grenades and explosives pre Cold War were pretty much as useful as a wet napkin throwing it off it. Yeah, I know, I know. Let's stick two rocket launchers in there, though. Let's also give none of the weapons in BO1 enough ammo to survive past round 10 without pack a punch. Yeah, I, I really don't like the way weapons work in BO1. But like I said, it just makes for an even more challenging video. Okay, we're already running down the middle. Perfect. Uh, we might have to do a whole map train here. Was not expecting to do that so soon, but you know. To be fair, when you use... What is that? I hear something. Oh my god. The only explosive I want to hear and see right now. What? What? Whoa! That rocket just went through him. Oh my god, just... <laughs> no! Yeah, that nuke's long gone, bro. Ugh, they're actually painful. Okay, once we get Jug, I'll probably end up being a little bit happier. To be fair, if when you pack a bunch of the lore, doesn't it become like the RPG in BO2? Oh, right, okay. Jug, give, lovely. Right, let's see then. We have a thousand points. We're about 4k off from pack a punch. Probably going to be doing the China Lake first as I can actually use this thing. The only problem is, is it's really slow to reload. 
They're both really slow to reload, but like you get more bang for your buck with a China Lake because you know you got two shots instead of one, and they're also like projectile based rather than just straight line like this. It's all right. It's okay, it is killing them if you aim dead on at them. Okay, that's fair enough. And to be fair, we've not had any BO1 explosion meta, so we should be okay. And by that I mean you shoot anywhere close to you and you go down instantly. We're timing it quite well, honestly. Um, what's the plan though? Like, yeah, that's what I mean. I'm one hit. I'm one hit. I'm one hit. Uh, it doesn't show it on the screen, but if you get hit by, say, a zombie and then shoot yourself, you are one hit and it just doesn't tell you. It's awful. What's that? A nuke? I really want the points, to be fair with you. All right, I'm picking up the nuke now. That was probably quite well timed. We have three bullets in our M72 law and we have 10 in the China Lake. All right, I can work with this as long as it's not a dog round. Oh my god. Let's see how it does against the dogs. From what I remember, actually, the China Lake is not too bad. Is it? No, it's terrible. It's terrible. It's terrible. These things get way too close to be using explosive weapons as well. I'm going to use the law here. See if this does anything. Okay. No, it does nothing. See, now I'm like, what? See, this is the dilemma I'm going to have. To kill one of them, it's going to take like half of my health off. And now there's two of them chasing me. All right, we're out of ammo on the law. We're about to try in a lake. That shot completely missed. All right, that's another one gone. It's not our first dog round though. So oh my god, please. No, 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 no. It's not our first dog round though. So there's going to be a lot more spawning in. All right, that's another one gone. I think this might be the last one. I can't see a thing. All right, got to reload and then hopefully. All right, are we good? Yes, there we go. All right, get a full clip on the China Lake and get another rocket into the law. Okay, right. 3,600 points. Definitely going to be going for the China Lake pack first. Round 10 with these two weapons. I wasn't even expecting to get to round five. I'm honestly quite proud of ourselves. Okay, yeah, the China Lake is beginning to suck so bad. What is that? Max ammo? I don't even need that, man. I would have preferred like a double points or something. Then again, I'm not going to complain about free ammo. I'll take it. Oh, uh, I can't see, but I can see a zombie darting towards me. I want it. <coughs> Oh, they're already coming way too fast, man. My poor little China Lake can't keep up. Okay, that was a good hit. I'm surprised I've still got this skill in me, to be fair with you. I've been playing so much Cold War that I'm surprised I haven't just gone completely brain dead at the stem. Okay, we nearly have enough for pack. Okay, there we go. It's enough for pack a punch. I'm going to try to use all the ammo I can before I go pack the China Lake, though, because I feel like it'd be a waste. Although it does suck, we are still doing a little bit of damage. Shoot that into the horde, and then we can finish them off with the law, surely? Yeah? Okay, we've got one left. Get rid of him. Oh, wait, no. Wait, what? Where's this other one? Oh, hello, Mr. Crawler. Bye, Mr. Crawler. Wait, that's not him either. What? How many of you are up here? Oh, there we go. There's the last one, surely. You are joking. Why am I getting BO3 on BO1? What is going on? We done? Yes, and he dropped a drop. What did he drop? Okay, Carpenter. I'm not picking that up. What we are going to do, though, is I'm going to wait for them to start spawning in, and we're going to hop in this teleporter. It's going to take what up there, as per usual. I'm sure you've all played Kino. All right, and we are going to swap this and whack this in here. There you go. What does it do? The China Beach. All right, let's see what it does. Okay, you reload a little bit faster. Is it still one? Okay, this kind of sucks. You still have to cock it back as well. That sucks. Right, okay. Is it what? Right, okay. It's one shell for all five, which is nice. We can shoot some off here. You do, you do cock it back a lot faster. Okay. Can I grab the reel to solve my misery? Yeah, I can. Nice. The first buildable in COD history. It's not even a buildable, really, is it? Oh, why are you already here? Good hit. Oh my god, I cannot believe I'm surviving with literally a China Lake and a law. I've said that before and I'm going to keep saying it, man. This is probably the hardest thing I've done in zombies. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. How am I alive? That is down to some dodgy hitboxes. Okay, 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 okay. Please don't smack me again. No, 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 no. I hate how you have to cock this thing back like a shotgun, man. Okay, I'll take that. To be fair, the law is a lot faster than the uh, China Lake. I don't know if that's placebo. It feels way faster. Once we get it pack a punch, it should be okay. I hope so, anyway. Oh, hang on. Wait, that is a strat. If you jump, it fires without aiming. You have to be from a certain height, or that's just how it works. Oh, okay. Right, well, okay. I think that's how people use it, then. That makes sense. Is that round? Yes, nice. Round 12, not too bad. If we actually hit 20 surviving off these two weapons, I'll be astonished, man. Oh, my camera's out of focus. Hello? Right, there we go. That's better. Hope that wasn't out of focus for too long. It's probably horrible to look at. Okay, not many points to go now. Oh, I'm in a corner. I'm in a corner. I'm in a corner. I'm out of the corner. There's a big horde of them. Bye-bye. I need to trial out this, like, jumping tactic that I found. So if I go up here, jump off, and then... Okay, that's a lot better. That makes things a little bit quicker. I can fire this a lot faster. Okay, I like that. Still got to cock it back, but... To be fair, you can minimize it by reloading. Okay, maybe the China Lake isn't so bad if you know how to use it. I mean, it's not great, but it's usable. All right, we got enough to pack a bunch. Let's go pack a bunch of the law. Oh, I didn't lick the pad. My camera looks darker, by the way. I turned off my little uh, headphone stand lamp thingy. Yeah, I think it was making the camera defocus is all. Might be the change in light levels on the screen as well, because like, my monitor does flash onto it. Still trialing it out. I do apologize. For, uh, apologize for, I can't bloody speak today, man. Oh, there we go. I do apologize if it's not perfect. That's what I'm trying to say there. Okay. All right, let's see. What does it do? 
Okay, yep, it's definitely like the RPG. I respect that so much. You can fire it without aiming as well. Beautiful. Oh, I really like the law. I hope it does a lot of damage. But the f oh, okay, we did it. Almost just didn't put the film reel in. We'll grab this one as well. Okay, I like the way the law works. It, it, that sounds so funny to say. I like how you don't have to aim in with it. I like how one rocket does all 10, I'm assuming. Yep, this is just way nicer than the China Lake. I don't think it does as much damage, though, which is unfortunate. Because these dogs seem to be tanking a full rocket to the head. How many dogs are spawning this round, man? Oh, my God. There we go. Reload that. This is... Isn't fully reloaded. There we go. And grab the max ammo. All right, let's see how it fares against the zombies then. Um, well, that was a one hit. What, was that a fluke? Okay, no, that's not a fluke. This thing might actually be okay. I just found a golden gem of weapon for BO1. No way. Oh my god, this thing's actually not even bad. Insta kill as well. And a double point. Name a more iconic duo. And a max ammo. What is going on today, bro? I'm going to spam this. In what world am I getting to round 20 with an M72 law? Oh god. Oh, we almost went down on insta kill. That would have been embarrassing. This thing is so good, man. Right, there we go. 15. Five to go. We've got this. Honestly, we've got this. As long as we don't run out of ammo and we can chill till next dog run, which I think is next round, we should be fine, honestly. Need to remember that this China Lake is not as good as it used to be. The law is definitely the way to kill them, but to conserve on ammo, I am going to have to use the two of them. I can't see a thing. You know, I guarantee you we're not going to see another explosive weapon again, and it's going to be on all the maps that have PhD flopper. Ow, 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 ow. What is that? I hear a drop. Insta kill. It means I can use the China Lake. Speed cooler could potentially help out a lot here. I've just realized I'm not buying any of my perks. Also, double tap one. I didn't even think of this. I haven't bought any of my perks. What am I doing? I've only got Jug and a Quick Revive. Right, does Speed Cooler help? Let's see. Does it? Not really. It definitely helps with the reload. What about this? Nope, I think double tap's probably the way to go for fire rate. That would make sense. Because in the old games, it actually only doubles your fire rate, which is ideally what we want here. Of course, you'd want the double damage as well that double tap 2 offers, but, you know, we've got rocket launchers. I'm not, I'm not going to complain. All right, let's grab this. Let's see. How are we doing? Oh, that is way better. That is so much better. Why have I not picked up double tap yet? What about the law? Let's see. Slightly faster. Definitely noticeable, but not as fast as I would like. What if I aim in? Nope. It's not like the RPG. You can't hold it either. It's not actually fully auto. China Lake has become a lot lot more usable all of a sudden though. Yeah, this thing's still making crawlers. It's really starting to suck now, man. I can't wait to be done with it. It's as fun as it has been, to be fair with you, but it has been extremely painful. But I've had fun. It's been challenging. Had to work our way through a lot of bullshit. Okay, okay, like this, because I can't see a thing. I'm dead here. Oh, no. Yep. Ah! Ah! Okay, we can still grab Jug and, uh, Jug and Quick Revive again. That's fine. Let's not panic just yet. We've still got weapons. We've still got ammo. Just missing our perks. Grab this. And grab this. There we go. And there we go. That's round. Okay. Five out of eight. Uh, ten. The ammo's not looking good. Dog round, question mark? We haven't had one for a while. Hands on my head? Nope. Okay. Oh, and this is starting to suck as well. It might actually be wraps here, you know? Unless we can pull this off with, like, minimal ammo. I don't know. Okay, to be fair, train. Not doing too bad. Right, if I just turn around and do this. How many am I killing? How many am I killing? All of them? Yeah! Okay! Ah, no way. That's it for this round. Yeah, they're still spawning. I was gonna say. Okay, we've got a nuke here. Means we can save on ammo. Nice. Another... That's gonna be a plutonium thing, surely. There's no way that would happen. And that's round. Okay, right. Two more to go. Two more, two more. This should hopefully be a dog round as well. If not, it'll be 19. Which I'm not. Ah, okay. It's 18. Brilliant. I was gonna say, I wouldn't be fussy if it was 19, because it means we get to skip it. But we are running severely low on ammo, so this is very nice. Let's see how they fare against dogs. Oh, I just completely missed. And again, that's not good. Okay. Ow, 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 ow. There's gonna be so many dogs this round, man. Oh my god. I'm not having to do a knife round again with the dogs, am I? Okay. It's another one gone. Even if I'm hitting them dead center, it's not killing them first shot. That sucks. I'm going to try to group them up a little bit because they take two shots minimum. If I can group them together, two birds, one stone, quite literally. Oh, he's going to hit me. Another one? Really? It's to be expected. It is round 18, though. He's dead. No more, right? This has got to be the last one. If it is, that works out perfect. Ow, he's going to hit me. No, he's not. Okay. Why are the dogs so weird on BO1? All right. Last one? Yes. Yes. Oh, this worked out perfect in the end, actually. All right. Reload. Breath of fresh air. Grab myself some speed cooler. Not too arsed about double tap. We'll get that later if we're really bothered. But we've only got one more round to go. Just got to get through this round and then we're done. Even if we down, we've got enough for Juggernaug. And I'd imagine by the time we kill a few of them, we'll have enough for quick revive. We're chilling, honestly. Very, very confident about this. Unless I do something really stupid. Just going to try burn through some of the China Lake ammo here. Oh my god. I feel like an absolute unit. If I can survive to round 20 with nothing but a China Lake and an M72 law, there's no reason why I can't hit round 100 on this game normally. 
definitely gonna have to be a video idea. After I finish with the uh, current one I'm working on, not gonna leak too much just yet. If you follow my Twitter, you probably know what's going on though. Link is in the description, of course. I already plugged it in the video though, so I feel a little bit sad now. Okay, last horde, please. Are we done? 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 Let's see, is this the last crawler? No, there's two more. There's actually a couple of normal ones as well. Oh, I'm so glad to be done with this map, man. Please. Are we done? Now, oh, come on, where is he? There he is. Hello. You're getting melee. Because you're the last one and you're the bane of my existence. There you go. Round 20 with an M72 law and a China Lake. Let's hope we have some better luck on five then, shall we? Right, okay, five. This one should be interesting. Considering the fact that we don't have any wonder weapon on this map that's infinite damage anyway. Uh, this is already, like, the odds are stacked against us, man. But, you know, we're gonna get through. We're gonna get through. Of course, you gotta smash the windows on five. Who do you think I am? Now, from what I've learned from Kino, we are definitely gonna be saving our bullets. And I don't know why on this map, but for some reason, the M1911 does not look as shiny as it should. All right, okay. We're just gonna be one knifing. We're gonna sacrifice points, but it's fine. I'd rather have bullets for the later rounds than, you know, be down to literally just melee in for, like, rounds three and four. Because they're the, like, big ticket rounds. That's where you want to be earning a lot of points. Just trying to think in my head how many doors we've got to get through here. So we've got the 751 at the start, 1251 there, so that's 2,000 straight off the bat. The 250 to get down there, 2,250. The 1,000 door to get down the stairs, that's 3,250. The 1250 door in front of the main elevator, that's 4,500. The 250 to get down in the elevator, that's another 250, so that's 4,750. And then the potential door, well, the guaranteed door that the box is probably going to be behind is another 1250, so we need like 6K. Oh my god. Right, we're on 2K so far. We're not doing too bad. We're about halfway, well, just shy of halfway there. Round three though scary times scary times indeed I'm gonna try to save my ammo for as long as i can try to get some melees in here there you go cheeky little kill do the keno strat okay let's be careful though because remember two hit system awful awful let's crack this door open so we have some more space to work with this is 1250 and not a thousand right oh no it's only a thousand okay I'm gonna use my pistol a little bit here ah oh, this is what i mean when i say two hit system man oh, okay that could have been awful out of everything you could have gave me there a bloody carpenter mint cheers Saying that now, though, with that door being a thousand, we've probably got some of the door prices wrong, so we might be in luck here. Try to get some collateral hits for our last bullet here. Okay, nice. Oh, I hate this, man. Got to wait for the five years for my health to regen. There we go. Okay, we're not doing too bad. Okay, there's another one. There's another one. As long as this one doesn't start sprinting, I'm happy. No, he hasn't. Okay, get that open. Head down. Box in here, question mark. No, no, no. Okay, another thousand door. I don't know why my game keeps stuttering. It's especially on fire. Right, there's that another thousand door. Right, okay. Don't want to get the power on just yet because Pentagon Thief. I'm gonna try to keep it off for as long as possible. I'm really scavenging that bad. I am rebuilding barriers. Roman W has hit a new low. Right, this eventually caps off, doesn't it? It's about now. No? Still going? Okay. Let's see how many points we can squeeze out these barriers then. Okay, right, we've stopped letting points off them. Uh we can end the round. Max. Okay, that changes the game entirely. Not really. It's round four and it's an M1911. But, but that's kind of big. We've got grenades at our disposal as well. We need to remember that. So it's a thousand to get down there. Well, 1250, you get the power on. Try to get a cheeky little melee kill here. Come on, there we go. Honestly, doing these challenges makes me a, such a better zombies player, man. Constantly on the ball with like thinking on how to do stuff. Don't really want to waste ammo going down there. Not that direction either. There's way too many. I'm gonna start cooking a grenade. Okay, 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 okay. Jump around here, cook another grenade. We've got loads of space back here. It's fine. Okay, I'm being backed into a corner. Luckily, it's a door though, which is fine. Can I get oh, yeah, these are one knives, okay. Oh, okay. Okay, he is, in he he is in here with me. Okay, okay, okay. This is fine. This is fine. This is fine. Hurry up. There we go. Where's the box? Where's the box? Show it to me. Show me the bloody mystery box. It's not in there. Usually means it's in pig lab. Is it in pig lab? It's in pig lab. Let's go. We don't have enough to hit it, but we can definitely earn enough to do so, I reckon. Get rid of this barrier quick. Got Nova Crawlers to throw into the mix now. Also, side quest. Don't kill the pig. Okay, right. Spin, spin, spin. Hurry up. Okay, that is a bullet weapon. I will take that any day. I'm gonna try to conserve ammo as much as possible, though. We do have access to pack up one straight off the bat, but this thing has barely any ammo. Okay, we have a bunch of crawlers here as well. Insta kill and a double points means we can get a nice little hit on the box. Let's see. What's our second gun gonna be? Winter's Howl Ray gun, please, man. Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay, right. Well, this is this is fun, isn't it? Fun in massive quotation marks about the size of 
the shard in London. All right, okay, nuke, quickly get that. Yes, 800 lush. All right, I'm going to turn the power on. I'm going to head up. To be fair, quick scoping with the L96 is not bad at all. It does a lot of damage, but it's just very slow. Now that we actually have some guns, though, I'm going to take the liberty of picking up quick revives so we don't lose this run, as that was a right faff on to get down there, and I don't really fancy losing it. Yeah, headshots with this thing are so satisfying. It's just such a pity it's so slow. If that was the dragon off, I would have been all over this thing. All right, I see. Look at that, man. It's just so... I know it's a sniper rifle course. going to be good at long range, but the collateral damage you get as well. If I can line that up, I can kill them all. Yeah, like, look at that. This is where you whip out the Spectre, though. To be fair with you, Pack-A-Punch might be the first thing we buy rather than Jug. Depending on when that, um... Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. We need this round ended now. We can time the Pentagon Thief beautifully here. Hang on. Zombie, zombie, zombie. Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Need to make sure that thing doesn't go, though. There we go. Right, I'm going to stand by this. Should be Pentagon Thief for our next round. Grab that now. Right, wait from the spawn in. We can get bonfire sale here. Holy. I need to wait from here, though. There you go. That's how you get the bonfire sale. Let's go. Oh, my God. That is so much weight off my back, man. Um, come on. What? Why is the death machine still on? What? Why can I equip that like a weapon? Plutonium? Hello? Right, okay. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. There you go. And the L96. Yes, we got both unpacked. Lovely stuff. Nice, nice, nice. You love to see it. Two packed weapons by round seven. Amazing. Didn't know they could break in here, though. Don't like that. Yep, we're using the Spectre here. Oh, my God. Max ammo as well. This game loves me. I'm running into it by accident, though. Okay. Just trying to hit as many collats as possible with this sniper rifle. It's pack a punched as well, so it's going to be doing a lot of damage. I don't know why, but the damage stat, especially on sniper rifles in BU1, is just cranked up the wazoo. Let's grab some jug. Lovely stuff. Nice little nuke there if we need it. With two pack of punch weapons, oh my god, not gonna get too cocky though. Like I was saying, with two pack of punch weapons, the Pentagon Thief should not be too much bother. If we can get like a little max ammo in between maybe as well, that'd be nice. Because our two guns do not have a lot of ammo. Uh, I might just grab this. That could end the round potentially, it's only round 8. There we go, lovely stuff. I kind of forgot how satisfying it is to get headshots with the L96. I just don't use the gun enough in zombies. Okay, a max ammo right now would be lovely. I line this up. Oh, get the full train up, why don't we? Oh my god, I forgot how fun it is to snipe. Not very good at it, but it's still just a load of fun. It's that double points. I mean, I don't really need it. Could well be Pentagon Thief round, though. I doubt it. He came on round six, didn't he? I don't know. Oh, nope, he's here. Okay. Let's see if we can get him just with the Phantom here. We got one clip. I'm glad we got that saved. Okay, he's running for me. Come on. Nowhere near enough. No, we actually took it. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. We have a packed sniper rifle. Get back. Get back here. Get back here. No, you're not taking that off me. There we go. Give. Can't use the fire still, but the max ammo is always appreciated. All right, let's head back up. Round 11, not too shabby at all. Okay, few to... Oh, that's a lot of zombies. That's a lot of zombies. Oh my god, they're confused. That was perfect. I don't know what it is with the lift. Sometimes they just their pathing gets so confused. There we go. Eight more rounds to go. I'm saying we've got this, you know. If we can manage our ammo properly for the next Pentagon Thief round, we should be okay. Oh, look at that collateral. Didn't do that much damage, actually. I thought we'd do a lot more. Insta-kill, okay. Okay, run around here. Run around here. Oh, no, 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 no. No, okay, 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 okay. We're fine, we're fine, we're fine. Bye-bye, zombies. Wow, the penetration damage is not very good on this. Okay, max ammo. Okay, I'm utilizing this. This. Okay, reload. Probably the last one we're going to get for a while, so I'm trying to take full advantage of it. Reload this. Go. No, 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 no. Okay, I'm past, I'm past, I'm past. Beautiful. Beautiful. Oh, God. All right, 13k points. We might as well pick up double tap. It's going to affect our Spectre a little bit for the worse, but mm, it'll be okay. Okay, Pentagon Thief. Should be just be able to annihilate him now that we bought double tap, to be fair. Okay, he's running now. Let's see. Okay, maybe not. Yep, yeah, take that, take that, take that. I'd rather you take my sniper rifle. Cheers, mate. Oh, God, reload. No, 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 no. I don't know the why, why for that gun, hence why I messed that up. There you go. Got my L96 back. Reload this. Go, max ammo. And easy as that. Take me upstairs, please. No, no, I wanted to go all the way up so I could get speed color. Oh, never mind. Never mind. As tempting as it is to fuel my gambling addiction and hit the box. Nah, I can't. Two box challenge, unfortunately. Okay, double tap. Does help out this sniper rifle tremendously with the uh, bolt action. That's a good thing about double tap with um, bolt action weapons and like with the China Lake on Kino. It cocks it back faster because technically that's to do with its fire rate, which is very, very nice. You know, as goaded as it was. Oh my god, I'm actually going to go down. No, I'm not. I'm fine. As goaded as it was, this specter has fell off dramatically. Probably Probably something to do with the fact it's round 15, though. Ow. Okay, let's give this another go. Uh, right, it's not too bad. It just does not have a big ammo clip size, so... It's not dishing out a lot of damage. Is that a nuke and it... Okay. Very weird combo of drops. I'm gonna grab this. 
And then I'm gonna wait for the round to end, then we'll pick Death Machine up. It should be alright, since it's only round 16. They usually start falling off around, like, 30, 40-ish. Still got a couple of seconds left on that. Uh, now... Oh, yeah, this thing's still fine. Double points, don't know what I need that for. We've got two pack guns. Two double points back-to-back, -back. what is going on today? Okay, we cleared out a decent few with that Death Machine there. Probably not enough to be close to the end of the round, though. Pretty high round, and also this sniper's starting to suck. Both my guns are starting to suck, this isn't good. Oh, God, this is death. No, it's not! What the fuck? <laughs> nice little lucky shot from the L96. What is that? What is that? I hear it. It's another death machine. That would be really useful, actually. Can I squeeze through here? Yep. Means I can take out this horde without any bother. There we go. Nice and simple. And that's round. Okay, we're back to uh, normal Ville here. Ugh. This sniper is beginning to suck, man. Really got to be adamant with the headshots to even try to get it to kill a few. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Okay. I hear a drop. What is that drop? Please be something good. Oh, my God. Look, what is that? Pentagon Thief round is not looking good. Got to make sure he's grabbing the uh, Phantom and not my uh, L96 here because wow, a wee low on ammo. Got a decent, he decent, decent headshot ratio though. Okay, round 20 is a start if you like a bit of a fever dream. Okay, no drop, no dice, no nada. Ugh, right. So we got about like 20 shots in here, 45, and that's not a lot of power. Okay, that's something. That is something. I'm gonna wait for him to get closer before I, you know. Hang on. Run. Get some good distance from him. Shoot him again. Right, he's had a full clip unloaded into him. Can we get another shot of this off? Make sure he's taking the Phantom. Nice. Played that well. Get a headshot on him in here. No. Got a body shot on him, though. I don't think we're getting that Phantom back, unfortunately. Ah. Uh, where are you running, brother? No, please, 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 please. No. Still got a max ammo. That's so though. That sucks, that sucks, that sucks, that sucks. We're down to one gun. Okay, I'll grab speed caller. It's already up here. Right. Round 20 possible, question mark? Literally, literally one round ago. Surely it's possible. The sniper what was what was doing the most damage anyway. We should have this in the bag. I hope so anyway. Alright. We'll give it a go. See how everything goes. Might get an insta-kill. Might get a cheeky little nuke. I don't know why I didn't grab speed caller sooner, to be fair. Yeah, it's still one shot headshot and you've just got to land that headshot. Oh, oh, oh. No, 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 no. I have the points. I don't have the willpower. Oh, why did I get stuck on there. Oh my god. What is that? Okay. I'm gonna loop around and grab that. Might as well. It's free ammo. Who's gonna say no to that? Okay, run around him. Okay, this is possible. This is possible. It's gonna keep a level head here. No! It's a nuke. Not gonna be enough yet, though. Let's do a loop. Grab it now. See how it does. Insta-kill as well. I didn't even realize. Oh my god! Oh my- Yes! Yes! I didn't think that would end the round. Let's go. We actually scraped by. Oh my god, that's two out of two. That's two for two for now. Let's go. Right, okay. On to Ascension. Right, okay. Ascension. This should be fun. A lot more fun than the one box challenge, I will tell you that. Because then again, the guns on Black Ops 1 just suck. We have double the chance to get the Thunder Gun and the Gersh devices and stuff. Still haven't really came up with a rule. If we get equipment, does that mean we get another roll? I don't know. We're already pretty strict about what we can and can't do. Especially considering that most people, like I said, just do a grace period before actually starting the challenge so you can you know, pick up a wall gun or something or like just one wall gun just to see you through to get to the other side but you know we're not about that life I'm trying to think what the box usually spawns you know one way to find out we'll get this first door open it's a good job we have a good view of the sky oh no it spawns up there okay i am a big dum dum this is 1250 then it goes straight up okay that's fine got a nice big open area to work with here that's why you gotta love ascension man it's nice and easy let's hope we get some sort of decent bullet slinger i hope it's not gonna be the china lake and stuff again because I really can't be bothered for it. Not about that life at all. You know, I can't remember the last time I've actually just played a normal game of zombies that hasn't been for a video or anything. Like, I do enjoy this game, don't get me wrong, but I only really hop on it when I'm recording. The video I've been recording lately, though, has felt like I've been on that grind again with zombies, and it's quite refreshing, honestly. Still not gonna drop too many hints, but like I said, if you follow me on Twitter, you can probably have a guess of what I'm doing. Okay, nice little cheeky 400 points as well. Get this door open. And how much is this door? Because the box is usually up here, right? 1,000, so we need 1,950. That should be no issue. Ooh, little stutter there. Getting better and better at meleeing. Oh, I say that as I get hit. Okay, right. I need to stop being cocky. Three and four. There we go. Can I just squeeze past you? Yes, I can. Two, three, and four. Got a crawler there. Nice little 130. Nice and easy. And again. All right, need a few more points. Gonna rebuild this barrier. I think I can rebuild this corner. There's one over there we can do as well. There's a couple of zombies. I think we're gonna have enough to get in the box here. Lovely stuff. There we go. And there we go. Right, I didn't end the round as well. Perfect. Let's get this rebuild built to and we'll go head up to the box now since we have enough points probably gonna get smacked by him no i'm not all right okay let's crack this open get the power on and the box is just here bless me up you know you want to something decent turn around so we don't know what it is 
Uh, it's not bad when it's pack a punch. At least we have another go. Really don't want to be working with explosives again, man. It's just not fun. To be fair, training with it once it's packed isn't half bad. It's like a get out of jail free card. If this is our only weapon, though, I'm going to be so annoyed. Another stutter. What is going on? To be fair, I think for now I can actually headshot them. Yes, I can. At least I can actually get some points decently with this thing. Oh, that's gone straight through the stairs. I just shoot at the floor. Is it going to kill them all? Okay, crawler. And an insta kill. That's perfect. Max ammo as well. Even more. And a double points. What is going on, man? Did I just pop a power vacuum in BO1? What is the crack? And a death machine? Are you serious? That was ridiculous. Literally got every drop under the sun. Right, let's go hit the box again. Got this heavy ass death machine note to deal with. It's going to be monkey round, isn't it? Yep. I would rather sacrifice a quick revive than die to a bunch of monkeys because we are not getting rid of them with the explosive tip. There's just no way. Right, let's go. 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 What are we getting? Oh, Gersh's. Okay, okay, okay. This is interesting. This is very, very interesting. Not a whole lot to work with, but I'm definitely going to be using them for this round because, you know, it's just going to make my life way easier. Four to throw them, right? Can I knife you? Oh, yeah, you're only a one knife. Okay. Oh, God, they're actually touching up my perks. Right. Gersh devices and a crossbow. What an interesting combo. Round 20 is probably not possible, but, you know, there you go. Saved my quick revive, too. You love to see it. But, yeah, I'm saying we're going to... Oh, my God. What is going on with my game? I do apologize. Can I just stop it? Oh my god. Right, um, I'm <laughs> just gonna ignore that, okay. Uh, so, the plan is, we're allowed to use the M1911, but we're not allowed to pack a punch it. I make that very clear, because, you know, there'd be no point in doing the challenge. We can definitely pack the crossbow, we can definitely use the Gersh devices, and that's about it. We are gonna have to be so bloody careful with our ammo, it's gonna be ridiculous. Getting pack a punch open is probably a really high priority then, right? Got a bunch of crawlers, that's good for points. Oh, there are two knife though, that's not great. Probably use another bolt. Oh, we knifed into a nuke, why? Alright. Okay, let's go. No, no, no. What was that drop? Is that bonus? Po you guys saw that too, right? I'm not sure. Was that bonus point? That looked like bonus points. All right, what can we do now? What we can do is definitely grab jugs. That's going to be a must. Um, Go do this other Lunar Lander first, though. Get that open. Got 2k points still. That's lovely. Let's try to get pack a punch on as fast as possible here. Lander is refueling. Oh, is it, is it the same Lander? All right, there we go. There we go. That's the second one coming down. Hit him with a headshot. No, never mind. I'm just stupid. Okay, he's running after me. Oh my god, I missed again. There we go. That's round. Let's get this other one done. If we somehow manage to scrape round 20 with this setup, I swear to god I might be the best zombies player ever. Okay, got our first challenge already. Oh, it's still one dome on them. Run. Right, best course of action, I reckon. I don't know why, but I always feel like I hear the die rise elevator noise when I'm on this map. I don't know why. But anyway, I think we're gonna train them up, fire a couple of crossbow bolts, and it should do some damage. Not a lot, but it should do some. With that, we can probably get Pack-A-Punch. It's gonna try and make all these count, though. PhD Flopper is definitely a shout, to be fair. Right, okay, that's a few more still coming through. I wanna try and get my money's worth with this crossbow. Just trying to make anything and everything work. And I also really don't want to use my Gersh's yet. I feel like it'd be such a waste. It's only round seven. All right, let's see then. Oh my God, look at the amount of crawlers. And again, and one more. There you go. What? Oh my God, man. I really just got down by a crawler. Are you serious? That's a joke, man. Ugh, let me up. Right, they're all crawlers. What is it with the crawlers, man? I literally have nothing. I, I don't know what to do. Do I double down and go for pack or do I grab perks? Oh, I don't know. We could try use a Gersh this... Oh, I don't know. I'm so confused on what to do. This is such a sticky one because we got equipment as our second weapon. Okay, let's do what we did before. Let's get training. I'm just going to test and I know it seems like a bit of a waste. No, it's not E to throw it. Okay, I think it's four. Ow, ow, why, 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 why? 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 Oh, I can't be bothered, man. That would have been so interesting. I was miles away from him. Oh my god, okay. Right, okay. Call of the dead. We can see where the mystery box is. Very, very vaguely. I am blind to bat. I'm slowly, progressively getting more and more tired as I'm recording this video, so if my skill level starts to just completely tank, you know why. As per usual with any of uh, one of these uh, challenges on this, oh, 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 oh my god, my brain is turning to mush, man. What I'm trying to say is, as per usual, we're just going to be knifing them for the first round, just because, you know, saves on ammo. Still lets us get a decent amount of points from, uh, per kill. My tongue is killing, man. There we go. Come on now, where's this last zombie at? There you are, hello. Right, there we go, that's round, perfect. 
Alright, let's start heading up the side of this cliff mountain thingy then, shall we? Let's get rid of this boat. I think it's 750. Yep, nice. Whereabouts actually is that? I can't tell. Is that towards the boathouse? It might be, actually. Here's the door I actually want to go through. Okay. Just trying to think how many points it's going to be. That looks like another debris there, but that's going up the way. Don't know if that lets us get on the stairs without opening that. I'm not too sure. I'm not too familiar with Call of the Dead. We've got a few zombies here. The zombie textures on Call of the Dead look so good, man. Like, BO1 has aged like fine wine. I won't even lie. And if you say it otherwise, you're just lying, bro. Like, look at this. It doesn't even look that bad. You can definitely tell it's an older game, but still. It holds up so well. Yo, max ammo. Nice. It's really nice, actually, since we can't use any other weapon until we hit the box. Right, let's get this open. Can we head down? Yes, we can. And I want to head towards the boathouse, so it's this door, if I'm not mistaken. Yes. Is the box in there? Box is right here. Okay, perfect. Just trying to save up my points now for it. Got to be careful, though, because it is round three, but we do have a load of ammo in the M1911, so it shouldn't be too difficult. There we go. First hit. What are we getting? If it's the VR11, I am going to throw myself off the edge of the map. HS10. Hello. That will do for now, at least. Right, okay. I want to get my other hit in as well. Oh, I aggro George. Oh, look at this water here, actually. Jump to the other side. You'll have to run through, won't he? Yeah, there we go. He's cooled off now. Lovely stuff. Actually crazy to think that's the tag the totem spawn, or what was thought to be. Oh, I'll get in the water again, man. There you go, you chill. Quite literally. <laughs> Right, okay, let's hit a headshot on you, and let's also hit a headshot on you. Get the box open for the second time. Come on, something good. Hurry up before George gets me. Commando! Oh my god! It's been so... Oh, it's been too long since I've seen that beautiful, beautiful weapon. My god! I don't even... I don't think for, like, nearly all the BO1 challenges we've done, we've seen this weapon. What a gun, man. Literally the XM4 from Cold War, but it's so good. We actually have a decent arsenal here. I really want to try and get some points for Quick Revive, though, which shouldn't be too much of an issue, to be fair with you. There we go. Let's quickly grab some quick revive. Haha. -ha. I don't know why I say that all the time. Quickly grab some quick revive. I, I really don't. I, I've said it in a load of videos and I know I have. I get mad deja vu every time I bloody say it. But anyway, yeah, I'm very happy with these we happen. Very happy with these weapon pulls. There we go. Alright, we kind of want to start making our way towards power here, which shouldn't be too difficult. It's just at the top of the boat here, so that's how much you've got the stairs leading up here. These are 1250. You get quite a bit of ammo with the commando as well, which is really nice considering that most of the guns on BO1 literally have about, like, four clips, then you're done. Really, really solid weapon. It's an absolute, well-deserved upgrade after the atrocity that we got on Ascension. A crossbow and Gersh devices. And then I get cornered by some zombie because I was too close to the explosive bolt, even though I was about nine years off of it. Okay, double points. If I blast him in the chest once, does he die? Yes. Leg? No. Yes. Okay. Headshot it is, then. Let's get this door open, and we'll head up one more flight, and then the power switch should just be here. If I'm correct. Correct, yes I am. Power, hello. Lovely stuff. The map's actually back to its, you know, usual colour. The map does look very, very grey when you don't actually have the colour turned on with the power, so it just it makes it look so much nicer. And like, like I said, man, you cannot tell me this game has not aged well. Like, look at this. This is like 2010, 2009 graphics. I think this game came out in 2010. I think so. Still need to work our way towards Jug, though, and I don't think there's guaranteed max ammo rounds, which kind of sucks, but we're going to have to make do. Clear this debris. We'll head over here, because this is where Jug is. Just through this door here, I think, is where Jug is. So I'm going to try to save my points up for that. This area is nice and open. Not too constricting. You've got, like, a nice little area here. Just trying to be quite careful with my ammo, honestly, because... Like I said, no guaranteed max ammo rounds means we're going to be running out of ammo probably quite soon. What is that? Insta-kill. I'm glad I could grab that through the wall. Cheers, game. Oh, get away. I'm going to try and get melee kills in here. Another insta-kill. Are you joking? Okay. Making some decent points here. Okay, that's round. Why is lightning striking the map all left, right, and center? Let's get this door open. Oh, pack a punch is here. Okay. That could definitely be a shout. You know what? It is camping here. It does not sound half bad. You've got a closed door up there. It's an escape route. you just literally got one direction which they can come from. <laughs> I think I'm going to use the HS10 a little bit here. A max ammo right now would be brilliant, man. Okay, get rid of these. Grab Jug. Hurry up. Swig it. All right, let's see. Come on, give me a drop. One of yous. Come on, please. The downfall of every BO1 run is always ammo, and I don't want that to happen today, so please. Okay, we're out in the HS10. We've got a little bit left in the commando. There we go. Oh, my God. I love this game sometimes. All right, okay. There we go. And where's the last zombie? That's George as well. There we go. I don't know why, but I became really nasally all of a sudden. He stood in water. He should be fine, shouldn't he? Yeah, he's fine. Why are you having a screamy for? I didn't even shoot you. Get this door open. What are you screaming for? I haven't even shot you. Oh my god, I didn't know the zombies crawled up like that. That is weird to look at. 
Oh my god, there's so many spawning in. Oh my god, there's so many. This is around we died on the last time. Let's get above this and we're chilling. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Reload. I love the commando, but we need to pack a bunch of this thing. Okay, that's George. Why are you screaming? That's a death machine. Should we go for it? Yeah, death machine doesn't kill him. He's got way too much health. Trying to make the most of this death machine, but there's just not a lot of them spawning in. Is pack a punch still there? Nah, it's moved. Okay. Really would like to know where that's sitting at the minute. Okay, double points. This could be huge. And a carpenter, three, four hundred. There's a little bit of the HS10 here while it's still got some kick to it. Hey, okay. oh, come on. We've really got to make the most of this. Hey, okay. one more, please. No, I've run out of ammo. Okay, cringe. Oh, there's Pack-A-Punch. I see it. Okay. All right, jump down here. Can we get across from here? There's a debris, but... Oh, wait, no. Right, we got loads of points now, and there's Pack-A-Punch. How do we get over there? That is the question, because that's not a debris you can break in Call of the Dead, unfortunately. There's a one in tag that's open, but not here. Accidentally triggered the Easter egg. Okay. Right, I'm going to go catch this Pack-A-Punch machine before it dips, because we got the points to do it and we got nothing else i really want to buy is it dipping already oh wait no it's just in the water okay chuck this in here grab this nice we got the predator there we go got a little fast mag attachment on it as well oh brilliant right i can smell around 20 run coming on honestly oh my god really 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 that is so lame i wanted the points so i can go pack a bunch of my hs10 and that was they've spawned back in really fast oh my god okay fog seems to be clearing up which is very very nice means i can actually see don't feel like i'm playing like a obscure version in a transit or something like that. I don't know. I don't like fog on zombies maps. I don't know why. It, like, it, yes, it adds suspense and it adds a little bit of difficulty to the map, but it just makes it like this beautiful looking map so barren and just so I don't know colorless. I, I don't. I just don't like fog. I think it's stupid in zombies maps. To be fair with you, nobody liked it in transit. It kind of sucks on here. It, it fits the mood. It definitely does because the whole map's just grey and white. But I don't know, man. I just don't think it's right to be on a zombies map. But that's just my take. I'm actually, very fortunate that this gun's actually in Bo One. Literally the only wild card that this game has for decent weapons. The dragon of this the ray gun and the scavenger and the baby gun are honestly some of my oh and the zap guns are definitely some of my favorite bo1 weapons notice how nearly all of those are wonder weapons none of them are just regular ass bullet weapons that's how you know you messed up the weapon balance in a game oh god no 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 really okay i've got to run all the way back over to the ship to grab jug brilliant got death machine no that makes it a lot better what is that max ammo and the double points we'll take both and that's round lovely stuff. Right, this death machine's going anywhere. I can grab quick revive, hurry up, get back over, give, and we'll go run and grab jug. Stamina up could be a shout, to be fair. This map's quite big. I don't know, though. Okay, this HS10 is starting to lack a little bit now. Okay, I'm just starting to lack in general. Okay, 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 no. Insta kill. That should make my life a little bit easier trying to go get jug again. I can't believe I downed. Come on, man. Give. Really just risked my life there for a carpenter, didn't I? Uh, I'm fine, I'm fine, I'm fine, I'm fine, I'm fine. It's insta-kill, I just can't reload. And that's round, okay. Another round under the belt, I'll take it. We just need to get over to Jug. Keep getting a really itchy nose, though, man. I've gone the wrong way. Head down here, quickly. Come on, man, the water sucks. All right, Jug, give. There we go, I feel a lot better. I, feel like I actually stand a chance now, okay. We need to grab our last quick revive, which, you know, I'm not too bothered about, really. We should hit round 20, hopefully. It's round 13. It's the best part of, what, like, seven, six rounds at this point? Oh, my God, why are you there? Can I just squeeze past you real quick? Yes, I can. Uh, 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 uh. Really glad we pack a punch early on. I feel like I would have been long dead without it. All right, let's go grab quick revive for the third and final time. Uh-oh, uh-oh, get me out. Oh, God, no, 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 no. Get me out, get me out, get me out. They're faster than me. Give. Right, right. Drink, 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 jump, go. We're fine, we're fine. Quick revive is gone, though. That's a nuke. Bro, I absolutely suck at Call of the Dead. I won't even lie. I don't understand how people can say this is their favorite map, though. It's good, don't get me wrong, but it really is not a lot to it. There's perks, there's a pack a bunch machine. George Romero is definitely a cool addition. Prevents camping and stuff, but that's really about it. Uh, pack a punch is there. I'm gonna go pack my HS10s now. Quickly now, come on. There we go. Oh, hey, there we go. Ding, give. Oh my god, these are such good weapons, man. Don't have a lot of ammo, though, so I've got to be careful. A max ammo right now would be lovely. Oh, I thought I called it again. Oh, uh, no, no, no. Okay, right, we're just down to our typhoid and Marys now. Got to make sure I'm really close when I'm shooting these things just so I'm getting the most bang for the buck, because they are shotguns. What was that? Oh, I thought it was a max ammo. Thought we got blessed up. All right, okay. Just about scraping 15 here. He's our last bullet on this guy. Does not kill him. Lovely. Oh, what is the game plan here, man? Oh, death machine. That will do. 
through. I'll hold this over for at least another round, hopefully. Now, all I need now is a max ammo. Come on. Come on. You know you want to give it to this game. Come on. Come on. Quickly jump past George. Okay. Didn't end the round, but it definitely got through a lot of it. It's nice that these are one shot though. Okay. Okay. No, 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 no. Oh. 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 That's why I play zombies. Oh, my God. Things are not looking good. Right. Okay. It's definitely going to get us through another round, but probably not to 20, which really sucks. PhD. Yeah, we'll cop it. Why not? Means I can do this. Oh, wait, no, that wasn't far enough. It means I can do this. Ugh. Oh, to be fair, PhD flopper could be the method, actually. Hang on. It does so much damage. It does a ridiculous amount of that. I, for I completely forgot about how good this perk is. It's mainly because I don't really get to play with it on BO1. Yeah, we're fully out. Okay, okay. You get such a big blast radius on it as well. Like, look at this. Bang! Didn't say anything about usage of perks. This could definitely be the no ammo method. I don't think we get drops for this, though. Ah, we made him angry, made him angry, made him angry. Cool off, cool off, cool off. Nah, I'm dead here. I'm dead here. There's no way I'm dead here. I'm so... Oh, my God. The max ammo. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. The round 20 run is possible. Thank you, PhD flopper. I don't know what came over me there. I just kind of remembered how good it was. Can you stop screaming, man? Oh, my God. I barely grazed you. No. No, 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 no. Get in the water. Get in the water. Chill. Chill. Bro, he really hurts. He can two hit you with jug, I'm pretty sure. Another max ammo. What is going on? This game has been too nice now. I don't like it. It probably means it's going to swarm me with zombies. Please. It's like in a Resident Evil game when the game starts giving you a bunch of ammo. No! No! Oh, and you're angry. Brilliant, yeah. It's just what I need. And the max ammo's gone. Yay! Right, yeah, 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 yeah. I get it. You're big and scary. Cool off. Hey! Calm down! All right, let's try and make the most of this insta-kill. And then I'm probably going to save one, go grab Jug, and then we can, like, you know, chill again. He's not last. He's far from last. They're still spawning. Oh, my God. Oh, my God, no. I'm, like, 4 HP. Woo! Is that last? I think that's last. Okay, 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 okay. No more quick revives, but we can go grab Jug and the PhD. PhD was the crutch before. We're going to use that. Okay, well, right, when we get Jug, we kind of just have to rely on Flop and once we run out of commando ammo, which I don't have an issue with. What I do have an issue with is the fact we don't have quick revive, meaning if a flop goes bad or we don't time it right we are dead like we're just fully dead and i really don't want to lose this run man we're on round 17 three rounds off right give me jug i just absolutely suck at call of the dead man there we go let's get this new round started isn't there a flinger i can use over here or like up there no i'm, I'm too far down i have to drop down okay oh what are you doing here man ow ow why are you mad you are such a knob do you know that oh my god there are, there are so many zombies hang on hang on hang on now give this a shot then give this a shot Ugh. Yeah! Okay, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Give it a flop. No! Oh! I didn't get enough sprint. Why am I up here again? Why, 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 why? Fling me over there. Right, okay, we're back, we're back, we're back, we're back. Right, no ammo. You know what that means? Ugh! One whopping kill. Oh, there you go. Doing bits. Okay, yeah, this perk is so overpowered. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. This is beautiful. Ugh. All right, okay. This is why I'm saying you've got to be crafty, man, when it comes to these challenges. Okay, that's nowhere near enough height. No! No, 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 no! Oh! <laughs> That was scary. There you go. That's how you take out a horde with a perk. Okay, let's see how many we got to. Okay, that wasn't enough for a flop, apparently. No, 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 no. All right, there we go. You're angry at me, but the round's nearly over. I think it's just a crawler left. Uh, come on. Cool off. Chill out. Chill. There you go. There we go. And that's round right. One more to go. We've got this. Surely we've got this. Literally just got to do what I've been doing for the past couple of rounds, which is just flopping. If we die, it'll be by George's hands, by the way. Okay, I think I'm going to train them first, actually. I hate how he's so close to me all the time, though. It means he gets aggro whenever I flop. Let's see this, then. I don't know how many kills we got there. Oh, no, they're all crawlers. Okay, and they're all electrified now. Oh, my God, I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. Oh, my God, I'm not. And he's still aggroed. Might be better to just keep him aggroed, actually. Oh, God. No, 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 no. No, no, I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. How? How am I alive? Can you cool off? Thank you. Oh my god, move, move, move. There's an insta kill. Two, three, and four. If I manage to do this, I swear to god. There you go. Death machine. That'll see me through at the end of the round, surely. Are we good? Are we good? Are we good? Please tell me we're good. Please, 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 please. There's no way I've pulled this off, I swear to god. Oh no, they're still spawning. Wait, are they? I really can't tell at this point. Might be like the dregs of what's left. I don't hear many more. <laughs> And that, my friend, is not how you end around, apparently. What? 
Oh, can you just cool off? Chill out. Right, that's how you end the round. We actually did it. Oh my god, man. We've had no ammo for like two rounds now. That was sick, to be fair. I had fun doing that. All right, on to Shang. Shangri-La, one of my worst enemies of a zombies map. If I had an enemy, it would be Shangri-La, because me no likey, right? Good luck, Charm. Good luck, Charm. Nope. What about the opposite end? Good luck, Charm. Good luck, Charm. Is there a gong on this end? I swear there is. I am tripping. Oh my god. Right, okay. What side is the box on? This side. We're gonna go that side. I'm gonna try and make some points early on, just so I can, you know, grab myself a cheeky little early box spin, because... The earlier we get hit on the box, the earlier we can start killing zombies, the earlier we can get to that round 20 goal, you feel me? Man, does, it honestly feels good to be playing BO1 Shangri-La again. I've actually kind of missed it. BO3 Shangri-La, in my opinion, just does not hit the same. It looks a lot nicer, don't get me wrong, the graphics are mint and everything, but like, I don't know, this just hits way differently. Put my arm more in focus, there you go. Yeah, see my look at this wrist action, bro, it's so out of sync, I've got a 30 FPS camera. <laughs> <laughs> I am really trying to up the production quality of my videos a little bit, at least. If you can tell that I've gone a little bit monotone, I'm just quite tired, honestly. I am enjoying playing the game, though, and I hope you're still enjoying watching. I know a lot of you probably put my videos on the second monitor, or if you're actually watching the video all the way through, you're a legend, man, seriously. We hit 25k subs, and I've probably mentioned it in the intro, because, you know, this is the first video after we've hit it that I've recorded. Oh, let's not die. Yeah, like I said, this is the uh, first video that I've recorded after we hit 25k subs, and the fact that number even is just remotely even related to my name baffles me it really really does that there's 25,000 of you that have sat through my videos and actually enjoyed them it's just crazy to me I will th oh, I thought I thought I got double hit there I was about to like start actually crying tearing up foaming at the mouth um can I just quickly get rid of these zombies where is this box Oh, it's underground. It's underground. All right, we'll get this open. I like the debris on BO1 that you can actually just walk through. There's the box. Perfect. And because I've meleeed that gong, it's going to be going off the entire game now. I might just go melee the other one to get it to shut up. Honestly, right? Out of all the maps we've played so far, what do you know? Shangri-La would be the easiest one to get to the box on. That is mental to think about. Let me whack this gong so this one shuts up. I didn't think it was that loud on the original Black Ops. Oh my god, bro. Shut up. Right, where's this last zombie? There he is. Hello. Hello, my friend. There we go, and that's round. Oh, I didn't mean to fall. You don't take fall damage if you jump on one of them. Cool. Okay. All right, let's see what we're getting then. Come on, I'm actually going to face this one. Okay. I'm honestly glad I hopped back on tonight. I was going to call it quits after I did call it eggs. I was getting quite tired, but honestly, to be greeted with a smiley face commando after losing all motivation to record tonight, that, that is really uplifted my spirits. I'm actually going to be recording Moon tonight as well. Then I'll do all of World of War tomorrow because, you know, it wouldn't be in every Black Ops 1 map video without doing World of War. You already know. I really do like recording these types of videos just mainly because they're so chilled out compared to what the rest of youtube does like yeah i will admit my intros can be a bit like over the top but that's really just to like keep people's attention and like i let them know what's going on in the video and that i'm not gonna pretend like i sit here and i know what i'm doing every time i hit record like that video i just recorded there on the giant probably gonna flop i, I don't care though like it, there was no, there's no there's not really any incentive for that video to do well yes of course the money would be meant if it did but like realistically i recorded it for a bit of fun because that's what i do with zombies yes there's sometimes where I'll be get burned out of the game because, you know, I've been doing too much of the same thing. Like, you know, I swear to God, if my game keeps stuttering, I'm about to cry. Um, I don't know why it's doing that. That's really annoying. It only happens on some maps. Anyway, I digress. But yeah, as I was saying, like, there's times where I will get bored because, like, you know, I'm doing the same thing over and over. I need to switch it up a bit. Hence, I did that giant video. And like I said, it's not going to do well. I already know. It's it's like, it's not a long form video. It's not what my audience wants to enjoy. It's fair enough, really. And I know I'm going off on a massive tangent here, but you guys seem to really like when I waffle. So I'm just letting, I'm letting myself off the reins. Double points. Lovely stuff. Oh, can I get the cheeky thousand points? Yes, I can. Anyway, as I was saying, though. Okay. Actually, hang on. Not as I was saying. Let me just, let me just lock in real quick so I don't die. I like recording these types of videos because they're long and you guys enjoy them. That's the main fact that I just got another thousand points off that monkey. That's crazy. You guys enjoy them and you guys seem to really enjoy when I yap. And it's just, it's quite nice to know that no matter the video, there'll always be some of you that'll turn up to watch it. And that's what really keeps me going, honestly. It's a very cliche thing for a YouTuber to say. Like, I'm not going to lie to you. Any YouTuber that says, I do it primarily for the audience or I primarily do it for the community aspect. The, the, their main eyes is set on that bag. And I'm going to tell you that now, honestly, right? That might be my method of thinking. That's how I, I don't know. That's how I see it. Because the bag you get off YouTube is pretty nice, man. But honestly, I just, I really like the idea that there's someone out there saying, out there right now listening to me yap about this very conversation right now and there's someone who's enjoying it and that's what really like i don't know it's just nice it's nice having this privilege to be able to do this and like you know make some sort of living off of it of course i'm still in like uh college like i've said in loads of videos all the time but 
to be able to do something like this, I'm very, I feel like I'm very fortunate and I'm very, very... Oh, there's a Shrieker. Go away. I'm not very fortunate for that Shrieker. You can go away. Ow, I'm blind now. Brilliant. Carpenter, I'll take a Carpenter. Yeah, I'm just very fortunate for the position that I'm in right now. And honestly, even if the video started tanking, which, you know, I got a bit scared the other week that they, they started to because, you know, views were dropping and stuff, but that was because I was doing shorter videos. You just kind of have to start, like, step back and realize what you're doing sometimes and just, you know, go with the flow, honestly. If, there's going to be ups and downs to everything. I realize I'm going so philosophical for a game of Shangri-La for a two-box challenge. I'm not even realising I'm playing, to be fair with you. I feel like I'm watching like, a commentary video. But I don't know. I don't know. I came in today like in a really sour mood because, you know, I've just started college back up. I've had, like, one week of bliss because, like, you know, all I've been able to focus on is YouTube and it's been really nice. Let's hit the box again. Let's try Let's get our second weapon. Wouldn't be the two-box challenge without. And it is the HS-10. Literally Call of the Dead all over again. Okay, that's really funny, actually. But, yeah, I've kind of came back in a more chilled-out mood. I kind of vented, like, with, like, you know, talk to the people that care about me. You know, you know like, like, that's another thing as well. When you're, like, really engrossed in work and stuff, it's always good to remember that you've got people around you. Don't shut them out. Even I don't, like, you might not be going through the exact same thing as me, but if you're going through a really stressful workload right now, you've got to remember that the people around you are not the people that you want to push away. You want to keep the people who love you close. And wow, I am getting so philosophical for a game of Shangri-La, but honestly, man, I'm just going with the flow. Is that a Shrieker zombie again? Can you go away? Maybe it's the aura of Shangri-La that's really bringing out my spiritual side in this recording. I don't know. When I get on the moon, I feel like I'm going to be a completely different person. And I'm gonna be raging, bro. I really don't like BO1 Moon. It's just great. It's dull. You sit in the biodome. You know, you get your job done. I really want to pick up Jug while I'm here, though. I think it was around here. I see. I swear the perk order on this map always changes. Or am I just like really, really observing? Okay, got some Jug. Nice. I do apologize for my game stuttering. I know I've, I've, I'm trying to cut out most of it, but it is very difficult sometimes because you know it's really unpredictable. I don't know what's gonna happen next. What's that? Is that? Oh, it's a nuke. I thought it was a max ammo. Oh, hang on, actually, this could be a max ammo. Two sex. Let's wait for the monkey to grab it. Oh my god, one off. Okay, we got a carpenter. Well, guess who's looking for a pack-a-punch switch? Uh, is it the one at spawn? Nope. Uh, it's not the one in the tunnel either. It might be the one over here. Yeah, this definitely perk order changes on this map. It has to. There's no way I refuse. Is it this one? Wait, what? That one's turning though. Is it not that switch? Really? Okay. Is it this one? There is a one in here, isn't there? Uh, no, that's on the opposite side. Wait, what switch is it? What? Bro, I need I, 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 I need my pack-a-punch. I'm about to run out of ammo like completely already. Really? I was having such a chilled out game. I, this is why I don't really like BO1, man. Well, I don't mind the game. I think it's all right. I just think the ammo management system and the weapon system absolutely blows chunks. Three and four. Like, look at this, man. It should not be round seven, and I have two box weapons, and I'm already out of ammo. Barbaric. Barbaric. Okay, okay, okay. A bit off more that I can chew there. Um, I'm just trying to think, really. Where, where's this switch? Is it the one of power? It could well be, to be fair. Also, I'm just going to do this. There's no other way we're getting through this round other than PhD. It worked like a charm for uh, Call of the Dead, so I don't see why it wouldn't work here. Is it that switch that... No? What? Bro, I'm confuzzled. Yeah, PhD is definitely the method when I've got no ammo, honestly. It's nice that on BO1 you do have PhD. Like, I kind of forget it's a privilege to have this perk. It got removed, like, so fast, bro. They saw how overpowered it was in, like, this game. And then, you know, BO2 brought it back for Origins. Because, you know, it was, like, the original 4, I guess. They wanted to be nostalgic about it and stuff. But they knew how overpowered this was, man. They knew. Let's see if I can hit Dolphin Dive here. Is that enough? That seems like enough. Why I? Yeah, this is definitely the method, honestly. I don't know if you get drops by doing this. I really... Really can't remember. Um, am I cornered? No, I'm fine. The explosion radius on OG Flopper is crazy low. Like, if you compare it to something like PhD Slider from BO4, or even BO2, it's mental. <coughs> Ooh, bless me. Oh my god. But I don't know. I feel like I just needed to vent a little bit because, like, I'm not gonna lie, bro. YouTube is stressful work, but I, I just love making videos, man. It's always been something I wanted to do, and now that I'm in a position to do it, it's just mental. It's actually crazy. Just finding, the, like, the balance with college and stuff, learning the drive as well, that's a thing. Very important skill, learning how to drive. I swear to god, if this stutters one more time, bro, I'm about to, like, drop the whole philosophical act and just start, like, braining my mono all over. It's not really an act. I'm just kind of speaking my mind, to be fair with you. Uh, wait, am I still flopping? Is that what we're doing? No, that's a napalm. I can't flop anymore. No flops for me. So, how would one get their hands on a max ammo right about now? Like, I really was not... I thought one spawned up there. I was about to cry. Um, I was really not expecting to run out of ammo this fast, you know. Okay, we've not got enough distance to flop just yet. Uh, is the stairs here? Ooh, this could be big. Hang on, hang on, hang on. We've let a train through here, haven't we? No! I got cancelled! What? There you go. That's how you do it. Yeah, I really don't think you can get drops from flopper. Uh, I might be mistaken on that, because I don't know. The drop rate in BO1 seems to be really weird. But I, I don't think they can drop. I really don't think they can. Oh, wait, no. I stand corrected. They can. There's an insta-kill. This will be a little monkey chasing me now, because, you know, he wants my drops. I think the best course of action right now is probably just save up for pack 
Sucker Punch there's literally nothing else we can do. Oh, we got a nuke as well. It's a nice little bonus. Uh, right, we need to go find this other switch. It's in the opposite tunnel. Uh, I think that's the one that's not on, if I'm not mistaken. I've been having this issue with BO1 for such a long time now with this stuttering thing. If anybody knows a fix in the comments, please let me know. Oh, shit. Recover, recover, recover. We're fine. I swear in BO3, it insta-downs you if you get napalmed. Oh, it's a shrieker. Uh-oh. Fit through this gap. Yes. Oh, that didn't flop. Yeah, it's that switch. I kind of knew it would be that one. And I'm blind. Is he dead now? Yeah, nice one. I just don't want that shrieker following me. I can't believe I'm having to flop, man. No, 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 no. I'm dead here. That sucks. What sucks even harder is now I have to rebuy my perks. The money I was going to use for Pack-A-Punch. Brill. And we don't have flopper. I think we're dead. Uh, Cheeky escape? Question mark? Nope, that's not happening. Nowhere near enough to him. It's a lot of crawlers. It's a lot of crawlers. Uh, I guess we could try use grenades here. Maybe get some melee kills. Oh, never mind. I'm out of grenades. Wow, the game really does not want me to win today. You're missing an arm. You might not be that many knives. So I'll be really careful, though. There you go. How many are like, still walking about? Not many. There's a load of crawlers here, man. What we could do is we could try save up enough money to get a pack a bunch of commando. We could rely on that, then rebuy our perks. Because honestly, I, I reckon getting a packed gun rather than buying perks again with nothing to fight with is probably a better idea. Flopper's only going to take me so far. Oh, uh, yeah, that's what I've got to be scared. Like, they, see, when they group up like that, especially on BO1 and BO2, when crawlers and usual, like, you know, walking ones just tend to group up, or even just, like, a group of crawlers, they can mess you up, bro. You've got no idea. Because of the two-hit system, yep, like that, if I walked into there, like, you know, any further, I probably would have died. Um, just one more kill, please, man. Come on. Come on, man. There we go. 5k. Lovely. All right, let's go hit this switch down here and then we'll go hit pack a punch all the way down can we get round these two without dying that is the question yes we can and the stairs are brilliant we have loads of time yet okay pack a punch weapon that solves our ammo problem perk problem not so much there you go i did the commando because it just has a lot of ammo okay yep and it's only round nine so this thing's gonna be an absolute demon but i hit my headshots here as well yeah i can afford quick revive okay we're not in bad shape to be fair with you could be a lot worse Round 10, halfway there. Have a quick swig of this. Tastes like fish. And away we go. Shangri-La has to be one of the most, like... I don't know. It, 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 it's innovative. I really like the water design and stuff. How they really went for, like, oh, everything's powered by water and stone. It's just cool. Like, the map is... Like, I like the... I don't like the layout of the map. I think the layout of the map's terrible, to be fair with you. I think the atmosphere of the map's great. For how relaxing of an environment it presents, it's one of the most hectic maps ever. Which is really, really weird. I, don't, I, like, I kind of like the approach that Treyarch went for with it. But I don't know. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Scary, 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 scary 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 what i do like about the older games though when a zombie goes to hit you unless you're like meleeing them i've found they kind of have to what i get there? Calm down. they kind of have to stop before they do anything like i'll show you what i mean in a second like, hang on so if this guy comes up to me uh, what okay well that that just serves me right for like being a little bit of a show off okay I, I i i don't know how that happened did i just get like two hit by twos oh i must have there's one on my right okay it's fine we got another quick revive don't even stress there you go quick swig of this again and we're good good as golden let's just not try to show anything off again especially when we don't have jug and that could be fixed actually i don't know why i'm not buying it oh jug's not on this side can i just jump the mud yes i can jug's on the opposite side because i'm a big doof uh right grab some jug have some more health lovely stuff we have a little bit of ammo too i'm feeling great about this honestly but we've, we've really shaped up to have a decent run here i was really thinking that shangri-la was gonna be one of the worst ones funnily enough the worst one we've had so far has been ascension i can't believe we've had the same two weapons back to back though this always happens with the two box and one box videos though see it's great to in the spawn room because i feel like it's one of like the one of the more open areas of the map but the problem i have with that is when you were trying to get a max ammo from the monkeys like say if you're a carpenter on the ground you can swap it to a max ammo if you're fast enough they literally have like four centimeters before they get to the stairs man it's like you can't even do anything you've also got to be quick if you get a max ammo because they will just nick it some napalm spawning in double points i'll take a double points we'll probably pack the hs10 by the end of this round thanks to that oh and a max ammo no 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 i will literally take it down for a max ammo i don't care i I really don't care. That was so worth it. Bro, the monkeys would have told I would have been so mad. I'm happy. I really don't care. I just want to get Jug back. That, 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 bro, you have no idea how important ammo is to me right now. 
Like, I literally could not care less that we lost a quick revive. If we die now, we die. I'm really not bothered. We'll get my jug back and then we'll chill. Yo. PhD is probably a shout, to be fair. I don't know if that mitigates napalm damage, though. It's a pity we can't pack the HS10 now, but we've got a full mag in the uh, commando here. That's that's way better, in my opinion, than packing these. Like, don't get me wrong, these shotguns are pretty good. And we're, we're a little bit away from round 20 yet. Got about eight rounds to go. Am I hopeful that we'll get it? Yeah. I, 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 I say with enough skill and enough luck from, like, you know, some more max ammo, so we can probably reach round 20. Just trying to keep more level head around things. I'm not trying to over exaggerate what I'm saying too much. Trying not to run through that water too much as well. Oh my god, there you go. See? Streaker spawning in. Easily take care of him. Easily dealt with. Can you go away? Right, by the end of this run, we should also be able to pack a punch. Again. Okay, you got a nuke. Do I want the nuke? I prefer a max ammo. I want to see if I can get a max ammo from the monkeys. I got a carpenter instead. Nice. Oh, we ended the round by accident. Shit. Um. I need the switch. You know, the funny one that, you know, decides whether or not I can pack a bunch. I need that one, please. I don't know where it is, though. It's weird how they kind of just scrap dog rounds as you go into BO1. Oh, tier. Perfect. Like, I don't know. They're not on moon. No, they're not on moon. Are they on moon? The dog's on moon. Am I tripping? No, dogs are not on moon. Right? Oh, my God. I, I'm going to have to verify this information for myself, bro. See why fact checkers say this is false. Okay, whack these in here. There we go. And what's nice about this now is the shotguns are powerful. Literally the exact same setup we had on Call of the Dead, and I'm not complaining. I might have gone down more times than Call of the Dead. Actually, I don't know. We've gone down a couple of times on all the maps, to be fair, apart from, like, you know, uh, Kino. I think Kino was the only one we haven't downed on. Honestly, right, like, when I take a more chilled and laid-back approach, when I'm not, like, I'm not, I don't force myself to record. I mainly just kind of, like, you know, I've got to do this today kind of thing. When I take a break and I come back more chilled out and I can kind of just play the game and talk, it's brilliant. Like, I, I don't even realize I'm recording half the time. I feel like I'm just talking to an old friend, you know what I mean? In a funny way, sometimes YouTube can be quite stressful but it can also be very therapeutic. Like, I realize right now, I'm pretty much just talking to a wall. Like, there is a little white ball in front of me called a blue snowball that records all of the things I'm saying. But in reality, if this thing wasn't here, I'd literally just be talking to myself. People think I'm insane. Do you know what I mean? It's crazy. I really am getting all philosophical in the game of Shangri-La. And you know what it is? I'm not even playing it. I hope you guys don't mind my rambles too much, is what I'm trying to say. But hey, I bet you didn't realize we're on round 14 already. Because I sure didn't. But get actually getting up there. When I stop thinking about the zombies so much, and I just think about you know like talking kind of comes naturally it just play okay maybe this one comes so on oh we might be dead we might be dead yeah we're dead <laughs> Well, that was ironic, wasn't it? You know, saying how much about, like, how much it comes naturally and dying like, like, the next clip. That's funny. <laughs> All right, on the moon. All right, okay, the final frontier, moon, and we got joke first. Lovely, lovely. Right, plan of action. We've always got to have a plan, don't we? So, I think, because we're doing the two-box challenge, we're not going to be able to get a weapon any other way. So, I'm going to stay here as long as I can. I don't think I'm going to pick up jug, though. What I think I'm going to do is I'm going to try to get as many points as I can here. All right, there we go. It started. Let's not die now. Out. Just gotta wait for them to all like, kind of bunch up first. The dog is gonna be a bit annoying, but we'll deal with them. We'll deal with them. There he is. There. Cook a grenade. Two, three. Bounce. There we go. Do the same thing again. One, two, three, and then bounce. There you go. Bunch of points. They're all still pretty much behind me. That's 2k. And then what we can do now is we can jump up onto here. There we go. We're now on the moon. And all that cost us was one clip of ammo and a little bit of our time. Right, and as you know, moon is one of the fastest spawn rooms ever. So it's not going to take long for these zombies to pile through. Luckily for us as well, they're all one knife. Because that was time based. This is round based. I'm sure you've all played moon before. It's the best part about it. You can get so many points so fast. Double point as well we can utilize the barriers let's do that now might be even be able to get a cheeky little round two one in i don't know though like i said literally one of the fastest spawn rooms so very very possible that we could get some extra points in here come on come on come to the window come on there you go another one no spaceman yet which is all right oh my god max ammo as well oh the game is treating me i feel like moon's gonna be pretty good i don't know why but it does all rely on the box look but you know it could go really well here all right we're doing well well, we're going to grab quick revive because we've got the budget to do it. Look at the amount of points we have, man. All right, we're going to go through this side. Down to tunnel six because, you know, good luck from the Easter egg. Get this door open. Get tunnel at six itself open. Everywhere is low grab because the power's off. Get some extra points off of this guy and him. Oh, God. Cosmonaut is on my tail coming in half. We're probably going to take it down here. Uh, Can I get past him? To be fair, the zombies are quite slow due to said low gravity. I don't know if I'm going to be able to kill him with the M1911, though. That is the only issue. Can I quickly squeeze past him? No. Nope. My daddy up. No, I lost quick revive though. That sucks. In what world am I meant to defend?
defend myself. Right, okay, we're actually in a better off position than what we were before. We've actually came up with more points. I've got a lucky double points and a lucky nuke. Uh, I want to get myself away from this area as fast as possible. Don't really want to repeat from last time. Just need to find my way out of Tunnel 6. It does get a little bit confusing, but as soon as I see the M16 worldwide, I know it's directly on the left or right or wherever that direction is. Box there? Yeah, lovely. Now, let's see then. What's our first pull going to be? Spectre. Okay, haven't seen this thing since 5. Good thing to end off the, uh, the you know, the BO1 trilogy with. Second hit. What are we saying? The law. You know, why would it give me some cool weapons to send off? You know, probably one of the most innovative maps ever. Nah, it won't give me the zap guns. Nah, it won't give me like a Spaz 12. Nah, you get a Spectre and a law, bro. Let's make it work. We always seem to, like, you know, actually manage to get it working. So let's, you know, try. See, my only issue is, is that I can't fire the law anywhere but the biodome because I bust the windows. Spectre's mint for, like, the lower rounds. But as soon as you start climbing above, like, round 10, you need that thing packed. And then once it's 15, 20, even when it's packed, you're running out of ammo. So this is a really sticky one. But I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try. I'm going to try. What I need right now is points. So I, I do need to end the round. And, like, look, man, I'm already low on ammo. Like, that is ridiculous. Insta-kill, lovely. This is what I mean. The luck might shine down on us. Shine, shine down on us. <laughs> no, no, no. Don't double swipe me. Max ammo as well. Okay, this is what I mean. Look, this is all you need. Keep it coming. Keep it coming. Keep it coming. Any more. Any more drops. Any more drop lovers in the chat. Come on, please. Just something. Double points. Anything. No, nope, it's the kill's gone. Uh, it's not looking good. It's not looking good. Boy, am I tired. I can't wait to be done for the night. Take my helmet off. I can actually hear what I'm doing. I can hear my gun firing. It's lovely when you actually take your helmet off on Moon Man. There's just something about it. I don't know. You go from being completely isolated to hearing literally everything. I can't use the law in here. It will kill me. One thing I do want to locate quick, just before we do anything rash, is the hacker. That's because, I don't know why, but whenever we play uh, BO1 Moon, there seems to be a tendency for Biodome to go off. And I don't know why. I really don't know why. Have not got a clue. It's almost as if the game just knows that I'm trying to run a strat in there. And uh, yeah, I'm going to have to buy the door already. It's unfortunate. PhD is in here, to be fair. We can take advantage of that. See, look at this, man. We're, like, we're already out of ammo. We can also take advantage of the fact that once we have the hacker at our disposal and we have enough points, we can just make max ammo from drops. And speaking of points, that would be nice if we were mid-round. Are we mid-round still? I can't really tell. We are, actually, to be fair. It's a few zombies. Can I get the melee on him? Probably not i don't know there we go very nice oh i didn't mean to do that this might kill me no, i'm fine can i get the melee on this guy yes nice about you yes okay building points i like it i like it shoot him in the face it's a shame we've been given such like you know pants weapons for like the last i really was hoping for something cool man crushing my hopes and dreams this game is day in day out welcome to black ops one still though gonna try and make it work you know me to be fair on the earlier rounds the law does do a lot of damage i don't detest that but like it's just so slow so not what i want just i want a bullet weapon i just i, I really wanted a bullet weapon man i guess we could pack a punch before we even buy jug that's quite bold to be fair i think we'll do the specter first because you know the law is nah we'll do the law first actually on kino it was all right plus we have phd at our disposal so it could be you know really really good oh this could actually be a really good setup i just need points and maybe like a max ammo just one before we go i really don't think that's possible though okay it really looks like we are already on ropes here we have one at bullet left in the law and yes what i was saying earlier i was tripping there are no dogs on moon what was i saying earlier man i was actually on one right what we can do is we can melee this last guy here if he doesn't double swipe me i hate where that happens they just get like an auto jump on you it's so bloody annoying man there you go cheeky little 5k and i forgot about that okay well it looks like we're not pack a punching and this could be the end of the run on round seven. Oh no 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 oh it's on 11 i always thought omicron was biodome wait what i always thought nah Omicron's biodome? I guess not. Alright, let's try and make this last bullet count then. It's not hard to run a train in the biodome. It's hard to kill a train with one bullet of the M72 law though. This sucks, man. I just wanted a good gun. Try and get as many of I can roped into this train here. Don't know if it's going to be enough though. Uh, tunnel 11 can go. I don't care. The one we have open 6 anyway, it's fine. Alright, let's see then. Wow, that was a whole lot of nothing. We have some grenades. Definitely use them. What's that? Oh, oh, I need that. I really need that. That would be brilliant. Give, 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 give. Let's see then. There you go. 
Now that is how you get rid of a whole of zombies. Brilliant. We have 7k points now. The opening the store should not be any hassle whatsoever until we have this death machine. Oh, wait, no, you can open doors with a death machine. What? Uh, activate, activate, activate. No, 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 no. We're, go we're going back to Earth. It's fine. We can breathe on there. All right, we're doing the law. Let's go. Come on. Come on quickly now. We have literally nothing to defend ourselves. Come on. Come on now. Let's go. Get away. Get away. Get away. Get away. Get away. It's not killing them instantly. Teleport me. Teleport me. Teleport me. Teleport me. Please. Okay, home sweet home. Let's get ourselves back to the biodome. And once we're there, we can grab PhD. And then once we get enough points, because we've got like a billion bullets now in this M72 law, we can go back to Area 51 and grab Jug. Sounds like a plan. Sounds like a good plan to me, honestly. Oh, please activate blah, 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 bro. I can breathe. Ignore myself. I can breathe. I'm just yapping. All right, we're back. We're so back. To be fair, it would probably be my best interest to stop that. But do I know where the hacker is? No. Oh, my God. I didn't realize there was a whole horde of them out there. Shit. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 man. Why? Why do I just suck at zombies, man? <laughs> right, okay. Nocturne and Toten. This one is going to be either the most boring or the most interesting because we have access to some World of War weapons in the box, I'm pretty sure, because the conveyor's on the wall there. you got the Car 98K. The only perk we really have access to here is Mule Kick, so that's not really going to be of any use since we don't have any rules that stipulate... Oh, we don't even have Mule Kick. Where's it gone? Oh, never mind then. I was going to say, usually people who do these sorts of challenges, if you pick up Mule Kick, they have a rule where, oh, you're going to get an extra box hit or something. Nah, 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 nah. We're not about that life. I'm trying to keep it as true to its original form as possible. Go on the zombie here. Okay, the spawns are actually quite quick on BO1. These are a lot faster than I expected. Come on, come to the window. Come on. There we go. Oh, just gonna do this and then three more World at War maps. Oh my god, my throat. <coughs> I apologize. I've just woke up. I slept in for college today and I, I, I kind of just didn't go in. So I'm gonna be recording all day. Okay, we've nearly got enough. We actually do have enough for the box. I'm just gonna clear out this round though because we might as well go. There's another one over here. To get to the box, Nactor and Toten and Shangri La have definitely probably been the easiest. Five was ridiculous. So was Kino, to be fair. They've all been quite bad. Come on, where's this last zombie at? Yeah, whatever, we'll get the door open. Right, mystery box. Bless me up. Come on, I'm thinking Thundergun. I'm thinking, like, maybe, like, a little FG-42. A Spaz-12. I was asking for this in one of the previous recordings. I think it was Moon. I'm happy with the Spaz-12 as one of our weapons. It just doesn't have a lot of ammo, so I'm hoping for maybe, like, you know, cheeky little LMG for a secondary. I don't know. All right, round three. We're slowly getting there. World of War... Maps, regardless if they're on World at War, B or 1, tend to take a while anyway, so it's fine. We've got a lot of time to think here. Look at these old-ass weapons on the uh, wall here. we got, what is this, the double barrel shotgun and the Thompson. We can't use either of them. It is really cool how they ported both of them weapons over, though. Okay. Uh, a nuke. I might actually grab this just to speed things up and say, yeah, well, I'm going to do that. All right, okay. That's round. Perfect. All right, come on. Something good. Oh, two shotguns. Really? No Pack-A-Punch either? Oh, no. We're going to be completely reliant on max ammos here. Interesting combo, though. HS-10 is quite good when it's packed, but the Spaz-12 will always reign supreme, even if it does less damage, which I think it doesn't. I think this is more powerful. But I don't know what the play is, man. We've got, like, what, 40 and then 27, no, 37 shots. So we just got just shy of 80 bullets total of short-range shells. See, the thing is, it's not even Kalatin either on, like, round four, which is worrying. The majority of the shotguns on BO1, though, don't actually have, like, a pump action system. The only one that does, I think, is the stakeout. I am letting them spawn into the map just in case we get, like, a slight chance of a max ammo early on, which would be beautiful. All right, okay. The HS-10 actually is looking, like, looking at it now. It's such a weird-looking gun. Like, that can't just be me. It looks so odd. There we go, that's round. 15 more to go. We're definitely going to need a few max ammos. I wish there was dog rounds on this map, man. It would have made it so much easier. I don't think we're going to be getting very high. It's not going to stop me from trying, though. That round 20 goal is looking very, very ambitious, though. Are we still one-shotting? Yes, we are. Use the HS-10 a little bit here. Really need a max ammo, man. It's that double points. Literally of no use to me. There is nothing, and I mean quite literally nothing, I can spend my points on in this map. Okay, right. Starting to speed up a little bit now, because it's round five. Oh, my God! Oh! Oh, that was double swipe central there. Very scary. Okay, actually, to be fair, it is collating a little bit if you line it up right. Okay, there we go. That's round. We really need a max ammo. We're almost out of ammo in the spaz. How much How much have we got? All right, we got about like a clip and a half, and we've got just shy of three clips left in here. In reserve, anyway. Oh, that sucks, man. Why are we getting shafted today with these box pulls, man? Oh, 
Oh, ho, 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 I stand corrected. Let me try to utilize most of this ammo that we have. Remember, I'm going to leave six in reserve to actually fully maximize it, though. Okay, make sure that's fully reloaded. This is fully reloaded. We'll grab it now. Very glad we got that. Means we're looking at possibly around 10 here. I'll line some collats up as well. You need to remember, we also have uh, grenades at our disposal, but by the time we get up to the round where we're going to have no ammo, they're going to be useless. Insta kill. We should be towards the end of a round now, right? I'd rather use some ammo here to use this on another round. Yeah, look, he's sprinting at me. All right, there we go. Gonna wait as long as I can for this. Literally gotta, like, maximize everything we're getting here. All right, okay. Pick that up. Round just started. Start lobbing some grenades. I always forget you get stick grenades on World of War maps. It's just a really nice touch. Oh, I don't think we've used this insta kill very well. It's already blinking and they've just started coming into the map. We literally got about four kills with it. Okay, that sucked. Okay, we can actually start training now because for some reason on round seven, all these zombies are just on sicko mode. Okay, let's see then. What we getting? What we getting? What we getting? What is that? Oh, double points. Oh, and the max ammo. What? I didn't even see that in there. Right, I'm going to try to use all the ammo that I can. I'm going to reload this. Not use this anymore. HS10 to the rescue. Reload. No, 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 I run. No, like that. Oh my god. What is it with round eight? That's like three times now it's been right. Okay, whatever. Whatever. Right, okay. The hardest one probably for a lot of reasons. Uh, it's, it's, it's a bit hard to get the box. The map's just hard in general. Verrocked. Anyway, so I'm trying to do the math here. It's 1,750. I think it's like just shy of 3k if we want to open all the doors and hit the box. So we've got to play our cards right here. So for a start, I'm not going to be using any pistol ammo for round one. It's a good thing the spawn rate on Verrocked, at least for the spawn room, is a lot quicker than World at War. I think they upped the spawn rate on all the maps when they uh, redid them for Resurrection. So I'm very, very fortunate for that. And it's also odd that we're playing as Nikolai. For the Chronicles remaster, you literally play it as four of the main crew, but I'm pretty sure they just don't have any of their voice lines enabled. It's the same for Nocturne and Toten. It's really, really odd the decision they went with for that. But I guess to be fair, modeling a brand new like soldier model and stuff would have just took way too long. So I guess they just had to repurpose, which is fine. Uh, come on, come on, bro. I so there we go. All right, 1250 straight off the bat is not bad at all. all right, it's round two. I don't know if it's uh, viable to just keep knifing or we should use some pistol ammo here. I'm not too sure. Uh, what I am sure of, though, is that that's a lot of zombies coming through one window. There we go. Yeah, I think I'm just going to use my knife for this round. Then round three, we'll use a pistol. Seems to be the method for the maps where the box is kind of far away. You know, you can smash the windows on BO1. That's sick. What? I thought that was like a BO3 thing only. There we go. We're up to 2k points now. There we go. And that should be round. Yeah. Doing well. Right, this is the round we're going to use our pistol ammo on just to try and maximize the points and so I don't die to a two hit because I kind of draw the line at round two when you stop using the knife because once they actually start breaking through the windows three knife in them especially when they start to group up it's just ridiculously hard i'm gonna rebuild these barriers as well as for some extra points okay we got one coming through here if i get these guys to soak up some damage here there we go all right we're gonna have more than enough points by the end of this don't oh my god we're gonna have even more all right gonna lob a grenade in there we're also gonna lob a grenade in there okay with my health to regen because i got smacked go again and again max ammo oh my god there we go there we go and that's round right let's go ahead up the box that was perfect honestly that literally couldn't have had that any other way uh right there we go and hopefully with a bit of luck i'm pretty sure the box has to spawn in here every time yeah all right turn that on crack the box open what are we getting hs i swear to god if i see this gun one more time what is the rate on this gun i swear that's like three maps back to back now of oh, the org you could oh you are treating me game and because we're on black ops one we can actually grab quick revive and it'll do something i'm pretty sure anyway yeah it's 500 it will there you go and we'll grab jug next so oh, we are pretty much chilling the org will last us a while even though there's no pack a punch machine which for some reason i always have deja vu with rook i always think that there is what is it like not deja vu the mandela effect i always think that there is a pack a punch machine on this map and i don't know why but yeah we can literally one shot headshot them at the minute with the org so i'm just gonna take my time with the ammo there we go there we go there we go 
Right, we have enough for jug. I'm going to go grab that now. Barely even dented the orgs ammo. There we go. Some jug. And there we go. Oh, wait, I thought that bit would have been round. Okay. Tell me how we're doing the two box challenge. And I've got two box weapons, two perks. And we're in really good shape by round four. Tell me how, bro. I'm just the best zombies player ever. I don't go down on round eight on Nocturne and Totem. What do you mean? But nah, I'm easily smelling around 20 run here, honestly. The HS head's going to be really useful for when we're, like, stuck in corners and stuff. Because this thing can output a lot of damage very, very fast. Still one-shotting with the org. It is such a good weapon. Especially to have early on. As long as I'm hitting my shots, though, we're not wasting any bullets. We should be chilling. Like that. Like that. Oh, I missed. There we go. I can literally use it as a sniper rifle for now. It's quite satisfying. Don't know when I'm getting my next max ammo, so it's always good to be careful with said ammo because the thing is with the two box challenge you can't buy ammo off the wall even if you get a wall gun i can't remember if i made that a rule but i am now i think the only game where that's really viable is bo3 you can't get many wall guns from the box in the older games i don't think and there we go and that's round six lovely okay i can't tell if we're oh that's a nuke hang on are we one shot and still no okay it's a two shot might kill a few of them with a the hs10 just so i can grab that nuke and it'll end the round seems pretty viable to me right let's see is this gonna end the round probably not because for some reason the spawn rate just seems like oh never mind i'm gonna shut up sometimes i feel like the spawn rate on bo1 especially on plutonium is just ridiculous like that was like round six and i feel like there was a million coming through but i was playing like round 60 bro okay we're doing okay for ammo a max ammo would be appreciated but it's not really needed at the minute one thing i'll never understand is why they gave the org such a beefy scope like it's iron sights on some of the other games i think uh cold war you can put iron sights on it it's so fun it's still a very very good gun though okay we're getting kind of stuck in a corner here all right how much ammo we got just shy of four clips left okay insta kill never mind we don't have to use anything all right there we go and that's round all right we're doing well 12 more to go and then we've hit 20 really starting to be conscious of my ammo here just because i think we're three hitting now nope two hits still okay that's a lot of them i kind of had to you know panic oh gonna break this bloody round eight curse man okay nuke was that insta kill okay we can save that for next round i think we're pretty much out of ammo on the org now uh yeah pretty much got just about a clip left in there we got some ammo on the hs10 but this insta kill is definitely gonna help out i'm just gonna hold it there for a sec <laughs> Ooh, bless me keep holding it there we go the good thing about this as well when you melee i swear it gives you a better chance of getting drops so we could potentially knife into a... Oh, I thought that was it. Could potentially knife into a max ammo, but no. You know, the more and more familiar I get with these games, the more and more predictable, like, the outcomes can be. It's ridiculous. Okay, we're out. Right. I'm gonna use the rest of my org here. Use it wisely, though. What is that? Are you taking the Michael, bro? All right, okay. Three clips left in the HS10. That's gonna hold us over until we get the next max ammo. Then we can start relying on grenades. Grab this common, and why not? And keep them on for a little bit longer. Okay, that's a few of them. We're getting this door open. All right, we're using grenades as well. Come on, come on. Okay, we've literally just got about two clips left. Now, why is there a wall there? I don't remember that being there. I don't remember that being there. What? I hear a drop. I hear a drop. It's a bloody double points. Why is that wall there? I don't remember that being there. Okay, we got a bit of an issue. We have a massive issue. Um, right, round 10. Uh, it's a good thing Jug and Quick Revive are literally just around the corner. I also think this round's coming to an end. Yeah, it is. That looks like the last horde. All right, okay, we'll just bounce a grenade off the back of here. As long as we can keep ending the rounds and getting more grenades, we should be okay. Kind of believe I'm having a melee on round 10, bro. It is only a crawler, to be fair. All right, there's our last one. I can't believe we're completely out of ammo, man. How hard is it to just drop a max ammo? Ah... What is the play? We have one shot of HS10 ammo. Maybe hold them up, fire it, and then just use grenades? I don't know. At least we made it at double digits, though. Okay, that's a lot of them coming through. Uh, I can squeeze through here. Nice. Right, I'm going to bounce a grenade off the wall. Bunch of crawlers. Do another one here. Ah! We're out. Right, okay. Three. I'm going to try kill all them crawlers up there. Ah, uh, hang on. Oh, no, we're dead here. Okay. All right, at least we can use the Mustang and Sally's. Oh! Look at that! Sometimes it's the smarter move to go down. Gimme, gimme, gimme. All right, gimme. Quick revive, and the run is back, ladies and gentlemen. Thank God for that. I took a sweet time to show up. Insta-kill, I'll take that. It means we can, like, save our ammo for the next round as well. Lovely stuff. There we go. It's a nuke as well, and that is round lovely. Right, round 12, and we're in very good shape here. Speed cooler could potentially be a shout here. I kind of forgot it was on the map. I'm also very reluctant to pick up double tap because, you know, it's double tap one. So I think we're going to hold off on that front. What we'll do, though, is crack this door open and speed cooler should we just be behind this door here yeah there we go now we can reload much faster how's the hs10 doing not too bad to be fair uh i've kind of got myself in a bit of a pickle here though never mind i thought i was in a much worse situation than i actually was uh never mind don't get caught on the stairs run 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 all right they're all starting to pull through now i can get through this gap here can't i yes right shotgun time because it's got the most penetration damage 
Insta kill. I can take out a horde with one bullet now. Double points. Why on earth would I need that? Really just trying to maximize ammo efficiency here. Got loads in the org left, and we got a little bit left in the HS10. Uh, where's that zombie? Oh, there he is. Hello. Bye. Right, 13. Things are going well. Let's hope they stay that way. If we get another max ammo, I'm pretty confident we could hit 20 here. Let's go try to hold them up for now. All right, let's see. Anything? Nope. Six shots of a shot. Six shots of a shotgun, and not a single drop. And again, nothing. We are better off using this thing first, though. Oh, God, I'm dead here. Oh, wait, no, I'm not. Oh, that was lucky. That was very lucky. Right, okay, I'm going to come out here because we'll have some range on them. I apologize for sounding like Lois Griffin. What is that? Carbon, though. Yeah, I don't know why I've woke up quite nasally today. So, max ammo. Yes. Reload quick. All right. 20 is looking possible. My leg is itchy. Okay, they're all starting to pile up here. See, the good thing about that window is sometimes, I don't know if you noticed that, they can get stuck. Oh, just like how I am here. No! <laughs> okay, it's fine. It's fine. No more quick revive, but we still got access to jug like really close. It's calm. And they're piling up there. That's not good. All right, okay. I literally just want jug so I can feel better like about literally everything. All right, give. Um, We're going to go up here. We're going to grab double tap as well because, you know, fuck it. Um, We kind of need the firepower here, even if it is only just two times speed. All right, and I also want speed cooler, which is just around here. There we go. All right, we're back. Just, this is the last chance that we've got, really. Although we're burning through ammo twice as fast, double tap is definitely giving our gun that extra bit of kick. Come through here. What's that? It's a nuke. Give. That's round. Nice. 15. Not too bad. I would not be angry at all if this is where st stuff started hit the fan. Um, 15 is honestly a good number to end things off, but, you know, we've got to push for that 20. Trying to keep that door closed for as long as possible just so we don't have them coming out every single angle. I'm, I'm glad that behind me is still chill. Um, oh, my God. Oh my god, no, 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 no. Let me out, 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 let me out. Oh my god, really? Right, okay, the third last, third last? Is that how you would say that? Second last, no, it's second last. I'm I'm so dumb, man. The second to last World of War map, Shino Numa. I don't know how to feel about this map, because whenever we play it, getting to the box is always fine. Like, if we're doing, like, a box challenge or something, I don't I don't find getting the box hard at all, because nine times out of ten, it's down there, behind one door. The only issue I have is when we start, like, need perks and stuff and we have to run through the mud and the rounds are getting high and stuff like that i just don't like it not one bloody bit i'm having to readjust my mics i've uh, changed my seating position here um but yeah this should hopefully go quite well considering that the box is literally like one millimeter away hence why i'm using pistol ammo already all right there we go it's a thousand to get to the box right so we need a few more points like literally like just shy of 400 there we go and that should be enough to get to the box let's see is it here yes it is right something good something good something good come on i'm not gonna look i'm gonna walk backwards into it oh my god is this a joke all right well that's one of the hits pretty much wasted there's no pack a bunch machine on this map this is literally useless to me all right that's round very nice got a little double points there let's get this barrier rebuilt this is what i mean about shinonuma man it's so hit or miss Okay, rebuild that once. We should have enough for the box again. Right. Literally just a bullet weapon. Something that slings bullets into zombies, please. I mean, well, it is kind of what I asked for. I didn't ask for, like, a fully automatic or anything. But, like, you know what it is? The CZ-75 is genuinely a very good weapon. Like, this is going to be a one-shot headshot, I guarantee you. Hey, like, where's the zombie? Come on. I hear him whinging. Where is he? Where is he? Where is he? Yeah, like, look at that, man. Like, look, 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 look. Whoa. There you go. One-shot headshot if I don't miss my shot. CZ-75 is genuinely a very, very powerful powerful pistol it just does not get a lo enough love i would have preferred the dual wield honestly because you know double the ammo but doesn't look like we're getting that today okay right how much is this door thousand then we got the actual hut open as well which is probably going to be another thousand and then whatever the perk is in there could range from quick revive all the way to double tap so this map is a whole bunch of rng also the iron sights on this thing suck I really want someone to develop a uh, mod for bo1 that has like weapon kits and stuff that would be sick okay this should be last zombie am i right no yes i am okay get this door open how much actually is this hut over here? I can never remember how much these doors cost. I think they're 750. Yeah, they are. Still one shot headshot, which is mint. Okay, we've got enough for the fishing hut now. I'm kind of just praying for Jug. I won't even lie. Like, I'd completely skip over quick revive in favor of having more health, especially with this map. So what we get? Oh, it's, it's quick revive. You can automatically tell if you just go up to it. Okay, cool. Oh, max ammo. Hang on. Okay, that is very, very nicely timed to be fair with you. Okay, can we end the round before we pick it up, please? Nope, doesn't look like it. Unfortunate. 
I also do need to remember we do have the crossbow at our disposal. It's just not going to be very useful since, you know, the whole no pack a punch thing. Anyway, let's grab some quick revive. Quick swig of that. Ber very, very boring round four. They're usually all, like, getting aggroed now. Like, bro, they're so chill for round four. What is going on? They having, like, a day off or something. There we go. Round five. We're still one-shot headshotting. Really? Okay, no, it's the running headshot. Okay, it's one headshot and a knife. That's not too bad. Okay, yeah, that seems to be pretty consistent with every zombie I'm killing here. This is actually really satisfying. I was going to kind of be careful when they start grouping up. Okay, insta-kill. We're doing very well for ammo management here. Oh, my God. almost just died. Come on. Can we end the round with this insta-kill, please? Maybe, maybe. Nope, it doesn't look like we are. That's unfortunate. All right, there we go. That's round. We've got 4k points now. Let's go get another one of these quarters opened up. Uh, What we got here? The com room. Kind of hoping for Jug. I'm also going to just take the liberty of quickly just running over here. And I forgot dogs are on this map. We should be able to get 20 easily here. All right, let's see. Speed caller, not what I was hoping for. Not at all. I want a Jug. Thank God this CZ is actually quite good. All right, Max Ammon, we're fully reloaded. Nice. Right, I'm still looking for my sweet, sweet juggernaut. Right, let's go open another one of these quarters up then. We got the points to do it, just not the points to buy the perk if it is there. All right, storage. We'll get this area open. All right, let's see, Len. What have we got? What have we got? Jug! Perfect, that's what I was hoping for. Lovely. Okay, we're starting to have to burn through a little bit more ammo with the CZ now. It's been like a two-shot headshot, even then they're still running with their heads off. It's a nuke that makes my life a little bit easier. Alright, grab some Jug. Lovely stuff. Literally just gotta make it to next dog round. We should be okay. We're doing actually alright for ammo. I thought we were a lot worse off. Okay. Right, there we go, and that's round. Round of eight. We're not doing too bad at all. Now, thinking of in ahead into the future here, Dirt Reese could be interesting, because no matter what weapon we get, right, we can probably camp on the catwalk because we've got pack a -punch. Thank God I actually get to play a map with Pack-A-Punch again as well. I am absolutely sick of having nothing to spend my points on. Like, even Speed Caller would be a waste of points for me right now, because I've got a bloody CZ. It takes two seconds to reload anyway. Use the crossbow a little bit here. We've not been given it any screen time for, you know, rightful reasons, but, you know. Shoot that into him. Is it going to do any damage? It did a little bit, to be fair. All right, let's do it again. Let's see. Bunch of crawlers. We can probably finish them off with a grenade. Three. There you go. Oh, no. Maybe one more grenade. What's that? Carpenter. Not of any use to me, really. Get rid of that crawler. Let's get rid of him. Grab this nuke. Didn't realize that was there. And that's round. Okay, round nine. It right, should hopefully be dog round next round, if not 11, which is a bit concerning considering that's three rounds away. And we have not a lot of ammo left in the CZ and a little bit in the crossbow, but the crossbow barely does any damage anyway. All right, let's see. Max ammo. No, another bloody carpenter. Why would I need that? I'm literally in like the one area that has no windows as well. It's like the most useless drop ever. I'll grab it for the points, but I don't even need the points. Ow, 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 ow. I can't see a thing. Explosion damage on BO1 has to be one of the worst things ever. All right, let's see. Did I kill them? Yes, nice. If I hit him in the head, it should hopefully kill him, yeah. And again with him. Oh, no, that's not going to... Ah! There we go, and that is round. I'm hoping for dog round. Please, 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 please. I can deal with the dog round with grenades and this crossbow. If it's another round, we are so dead. Oh, no. Oh, this is the problem with the World of War maps, man. Once you've run out of ammo, there's just nothing you can do. Well, in any other case, you just hit the box. But, like, retaining the same weapon is so difficult. Oh, no, really? I hear a drop. What is it? What is it? Max ammo! I need my ammo for my CZ, please. Thank you. All right, let's see. How's it doing? Not too well, actually. Um, Okay, that was really anticlimactic. Oh, that insta-kill would be perfect as well. Run, 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 run. Loop back through. Oh, my God. Right, there we go. Get rid of this horde. All right, I'm going to go get my perks back as well. I think Quick Revive was in here, and then Jug was in the comms area. Grab this. All right, that's round. It should be dog round this round. We got some ammo to actually fight them with, which makes everything a little bit easier. Uh, Was it com room? No, it was not com room that had jug in it. Yeah, it's dog round. Nice. I think it was this one, storage. Oh, God, dog's in the mud. No, get me out. Yeah, here's jug. Nice. All right, we're set back up. And we get a max ammo at the end of this round as well. Lovely stuff. There we go. Lovely. All right, so that is full ammo on the CZ, full ammo on the crossbow, and a full happy me. And it's free round to top it all off. All right, eight more to go. I'm saying 20's possible, but I said this on Verruck, and we died the same round. And my mouse battery's running low because it's blinking red. Let me show the camera. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> Should be able to bang out the Reese on a little battery, though. I can't be bothered to plug it in. Look at this train we've got going on here. I really wish we could use the traps, man. Like, I think that's one of the things that's always say defeats the purpose of the whole challenge, if you can just rely off traps. Like, fair enough, we use PhD in um, Call of the Dead, but, like, that's a completely different story. Double points. I mean, I'll grab it, but I don't really need it. Wow, we are burning through ammo fast. Oh, my God. Shit, shit. Oh, okay, we're fine. Oh, this was a mistake coming through here. What is that? A carpenter? 
there. I swear if I get one more, I'm about to throw my entire setup out the window. All right, a nuke. I'll take a nuke. Burns for another round. There we go. Okay, we're almost out of ammo again. This is not looking good, bro. Please clutch up. Oh, I thought that was a clutch, but it kind of is and it kind of isn't. Insta-kill's great. Don't get me wrong. We can actually use the crossbow a little bit here. All right, I've just realized I've started my recording midway through munch. Um, and yes, I did say munch. I'm currently eating one of these sourest sweets known to man. Ah, that was really weird. I can usually hack my whams. For those of you who don't know what I'm talking about, I don't, uh, do you guys... Oh, Max Ammo. Do you guys have Mawams in... um? Oh, never mind. I'm going to show up. What I was going to ask is, do Americans have Mawam sweets in the US? Because I, I can't remember if it's a, it's a UK thing to have these, but we have these thing called pinballs, and they are so good, man. I'll grab this nuke. I can't remember how many downs we've had. I don't think it's been three, though. There should be another quick revive sitting in there for us. Yes, there is. That is our last quick revive, though, so we're going to have to make it, you know, actually count. Um, Right. I've gone the complete wrong way for Jug, having that. That is not good. That is not good news. It's over this way. There we go. And we're chilling once more. Well, not really. There's still an absolute horde of zombies heading towards me. And I have a grand total of, what, about 40 bullets? Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, of course the crossbow isn't loaded. Hang on. Ow, 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 ow. Ow. This is so hectic for a game machine. Oh, no, my man. Oh, why have I been hit with a crossbow bolt? Right, we have about four bullets left. Could well be a dog round next round, though. Oh, now we're completely down to grenades and grenades only. Ugh! We can make it to the next dog round. 20 is definitely possible. There's probably so many crawlers back here, though. I can use a grenade on them. I can't be bothered. Just die, man. Oh, my God. There we go. Oh, my God. Grenades are literally doing nothing. Come on. Oh, my bright red. Okay. There we go. And that's round right. At least we made it to 15. If it's not dog round, by the way, it's over. It's actually wrapped. Oh, it is dog round. Okay, right. Well, how are we going to deal with it? That is the question. Does the crossbow bolt take them out? No. Okay. There we go. Took that one out. How many knives is it to kill a dog? This round is it no way it's the amount of rounds there's no way it's the same number as the amount of rounds i refuse to believe that's what it is normally for bloody zombies i wasn't sure about the dogs though there's another one gone i can't believe i'm having a melee on a bloody dog round there we go there's another one gone okay i'm gonna bounce this grenade hopefully off this little thing no nope, i missed oh my god there's still more this is ridiculous we had to do this before on the last bo one one as well all this for a bloody max ammo i think when we did the one box challenge this is exactly how it went on shinonuma come on just bleed out there we go thank god was not expecting to do better on shinonuma than i did varuk to be fair with you i'm usually a lot better at varuk than i am this map which is really weird considering it's usually one of the harder ones if we get round 20 here i'll actually be in shock oh my god that is literally like an entire clip to kill one i'm gonna use the crossbow first and that's gonna hit me no it's not we're fine what is that i don't know what that is oh get me out get me out get me out get me out what is it oh, it's a carpenter in the floor nice what is that there's so many drops this round what's going on what is that it's an insta kill lob a grenade another bro, how many drops you're giving me all the ones i don't need there we go there we go Just trying to utilize this insta kill max ammo there you go oh i really thought that was like the end of round wait is it no wait what where's the last zombie oh he's a crawler isn't he i'm gonna i'm gonna place my bets now oh wait no he's not he's sprinting he was just slow there we go treat myself to a little mawam here for those of you who live in the US, you're probably so confused. This is what it looks like for reference. It's like this little like they look like gumballs, but they've got like sour stuff on the inside. They're so good. I keep forgetting I now have the ability to show stuff to the camera. Really not used to using this thing, but I've had this C920 literally sitting just above my desk for god knows how long now. So I was like, you know what? Hand cam could be fun. I've actually killed quite a few of them. Oh my god, can you survive to round 20 with a CZ75 and a crossbow? Let me know in the comments below. Right, okay. Only reason why I'm asking that is because there's so many people sometimes in the comments that say like, oh my god, how did you die here? Blah, 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 blah. And it's like, bro, sometimes I have, like, a starting pistol and Gersh devices. Like, wh wh what do you expect from me? I'm like, oh, you could have done this. You could have done this. You bro, you have a thing called hindsight. Oh, God, we should have died there. I will tell you that much, though. All right, we're down to the good old crossbow again. We're almost completely out of ammo again, which is very worrying. Oh, nuke. Give. There we go. I hear another drop. What is it? What is it? An insta-kill. Lovely. I really needed that game. Thank you. I've just got such a big threat in front of... God's sake, man. Gives us the best drops at, like, the worst times ever. But yeah, now I've actually got a bit of time to show you. So this is what I'm on about. These. Do you motherfuckers in the US have these? I want to know. Oh, no, man. So usually I get blessed up with a max ammo light right as we go down. Not this time. Oh, it could be wraps. Could very much be wraps here. Ow. Oh, why did I do that so close? If I get hit once here, I'm dead. I'm dead. Yep. Ah! <laughs> okay, we give it a really good effort there, though. All right. 
On to the race. All right, this is literally the final map. The race. Wow, has it been a journey. We've completed, a, I'd say, a fair few of them now. Getting to around 20 and that. I think we did Kino 5. We didn't do Ascension. We did Call of the Dead. Got pretty high on Shangri-La. Did pretty bad on Moon. Nacht was a little bit bad. Verruckt, we did quite well. Shinonuma, we did it really well. But I think we're only about two rounds off. So, I'm hoping for some good luck today. It looks like the box is in its usual spot. Which is very nice to see. Because I think on the race, it can literally spawn anywhere. I know it is on the giant. I don't actually know how that works on the BO1 edition and stuff. There we go. And that's round. Okay, how many points are we going to need? I think I worked this out last video when we did the giant Easter egg upside down. We need 750. I think it's a thousand. No, 750, 750, 1,000. And then we're at the box. So that's 2,500 plus 950. That's 3,450, I think. Easy town. You already know we're going to be able to get that. As long as we can get our hands on a box weapon, ideally, before the dog run, we should be good. Go. That's 2K. That's 2.3. Well, 2.4, basically. Right, let's try to get some collateral hits on these. There you go. Lob a grenade over there. And this should be the last zombie of the round. Yes, it is. Lovely stuff. Oh, I'm excited to finally get a longer video. Oh, my game started again. I'm excited to get like a longer video out for you guys. Again, I know it's been a little bit of a wait for one because I've been kind of busy with other things. College just started back up and stuff. But I, like I said, I took the day off because I slept in. But it's probably not going to be a usual thing, you know what I mean? So I'm just saying uploads might be a little bit slower, but we should be good. I've got a few more than I'd like. Uh, can I just quickly dodge and weave through you? Yes, I can. What is that? It's a nuke. We can take advantage of that. Lob that off his skull. All right, I'm going to grab this now just for the sake of convenience. All right, let's get gone. All right, and then this one. There we go. And yeah, there's the box. Lovely stuff. I was literally so confused there. I couldn't see the beam. All right, power's on. Open this. What have we got? The Spaz 12. Nice to see this again. Not a whole lot of ammo. I am hoping for like an LMG or something. If we get the HS10 again, I'm literally just going to call it quits, bro. I swear down. Not just from this challenge, bro. I'm calling it quits from life. Okay, right. What's our second hit going to be? I'm not looking. I'm not looking. What have we got? Monkey bombs. Are you joking? And my game crack. Oh, brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. All right, we back. What are we getting? We're getting a python. Okay. Right, that's a little bit better than what we got before. Yeah, I kind of just restarted and got up, got back up to where we were. And I haven't actually flicked on the power. Let's get that done. Got a bunch of zombies coming my way. I'm going to try to time these shots, just mainly because the python takes about nine years to reload. Oh, uh, going to have to hop over here. Okay, let's get our second box it in. Come on, something good. CZ75 dual wields. I'll take that. They're pretty good packet punch. So we do have access to a packet punch machine. And they're all right for the earlier rounds. All right, now we kind of just need to grind points. Not too shabby at all, to be fair with you. Come on, where's this last zombie? There we go. Got double points as well. Very nice. I will be waiting till the end of the round for that. Come on, wait for them to spawn in. Keep waiting. I'm that well, because they're starting to spawn back in now. Uh, let me know, by the way, if you guys have watched all the, way th blah, 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 all the way through. Do you prefer the hand cam on videos, or would you prefer if there was no hand cam? That is the question. Just because it's something that I'm trying out, it's quite new, and I haven't had a video that's done well with it in, so I'd imagine this video should do all right in terms of viewership. I'm not too bothered either way, though. All right, okay, let's grab this now. That max ammo actually works out perfect, because we were on... I want to say just about half on the CZs. The Python was still doing fine. Um, Let's get this door open. We might as well. Also, when the game's on high FPS, you start to get caught on like weird things on the map. So you see how there's a little lip on the stairs? I've noticed this with Plutonium. I've noticed it with a lot of like all the COD games. Because they were designed in mind that the highest you'd hit is probably somewhere around like 60 FPS. As you can see, I'm stuck on this lip. It's so weird. BO2 has some things like that as well. It's especially prevalent in World at War though, because that game was designed for like Pentium 4s. So, you know, running it on a Ryzen 7 5800X 3D, you know, kind of like makes the game shit itself a little bit because it's got too many resources to work with. And the technology like DirectX and stuff that it uses is just outdated by today's standards. Well, the version of DirectX, I should say. DX is still the primary thing that most games use, I think, that are for Windows. What are we up to now? DX12? DX13? Okay, that's a nuke. I'm not going to grab that. Okay, that's actually a few of them coming my way, and we are running a little bit low on ammo. It's really hard to have good accuracy with these things. Python's a lot easier, but, you know, it takes nine years to reload. Uh, right, what's the plan from here? We're gonna go get the next... <laughs> Teleport that linked. Oh my god, that one was vile. You know when like, you sneeze so hard, like the back of your throat starts stinging? Ow! Alright, okay, we'll get this one linked, and we can probably get the other one linked, to be fair. Right, there we go. Alright, you got an insta-kill. Uh, I think that's what was stinging my throat. Oh my god. Alright, what I'm gonna do now is... I'm going to go across the bridge and then down. Oh, Max, I'm... Oh, I forgot dogs are on Durries. Why do I always forget? Get that door open and I'm going to kill one dog. There we go. Get rid of him. I'm going to grab Jug. Hurry up, hurry 
up, hurry up. There we go. And that's round. Okay, nice. Fully reload the Python. We can't fully reload the CZs, unfortunately, but you know. Okay, we've got a double points. That's nice. Means I can build my budget for Pack-A-Punch here. Oh, I am hand on heart smelling around 20 run here. Things are going very well. We've actually got a leg to stand on as well with the guns we've been given. See, look at that already. 2k points. We're chilling, bro. See, the Python's actually not a bad pistol at all. Like, it's something I'd always take over something like, I don't know, the Executioner in BO2. That's the most comparable weapon I can think of, really. The only issue I have with it is that once it's not packed, you, like, the, the reload on it, man, it just sucks. It could be such a good weapon if it just came with a speed loader attachment, man. Right, speaking of which, is a max ammo here. Yeah. Grab that, we're fully reloaded. Right, let's go link this last teleporter then. Might as well get this door open now. We'll also get this one and this one back here. Grab this and link this. There we go. Pack a punch is fully open and hopefully we get a nice little drop from here. Double points. That is kind of what I was hoping for, to be fair. I want to pack a punch as soon as possible. Well, no, not really, to be fair with you, because we can spend all of this ammo that we have unpacked before we pack a punch to maximize the, you know, the amount of ammo we actually have. We can also save ammo here because we got... Oh my god, I'm just getting ammo left, right, and center. Oh my god, look at the amount of points we have, man. All right, I think I'm just going to chuck this in here now. Just mainly because, like I said, without a speed loader attachment, you can't use that thing. The Cobra. What a cool name for a weapon. I think as well, I'm just going to grab this. See how fast this thing reloads now. Look at that. Right, I'm going to spend the rest of this ammo we have here for points. Then I'm going to go pack a bunch, and then we can probably safely camp up by on the catwalk, because these become fully automatic. It could literally be like a little pocket LMG. Because you do get plenty of ammo with these things as well. That's a carpenter. Look at this, man. It's so much better. All right, there we go. We're about 1k out from being able to go pack a bunch of these, which is good timing, because, you know, we're completely out of ammo. And it's a dog round. Never mind. It's so satisfying being able to finally one-shot a dog without having, like, melee a million times. Oh, my God. Like, look, bang, bang, ah. Oh. There we go, and that's a dog round. Just reactivated my camera there, just because it was completely out of focus. I really hope it hasn't been like that for a long time. The only time I've really seen it do that was on Kino, so... Right, let's just use the rest of this ammo like before. Hopefully we don't get another max ammo, because I really do just want to pack a bunch of these things now. Because they're starting to suck a little bit. I have had so many breaks between this record. Why is my audio so bloody quiet? Hang on. Oh, uh, opposite, opposite, opposite. There we go. Tell me how I was able to adjust my audio and play with one hand there and not die. You wanna know why that is? That's because I'm the best zombies player ever, bro. Oh! How good the Python is, man. And like, just like that, we're reloaded. <coughs> Alright, okay, double points, and I'm gonna go pack a punch these CZs before we get another max ammo, and I'm like, I'm not gonna pack a punch. Right, okay, chuck this in here, and we can go camp on the catwalk now, I'm pretty sure. How much ammo do we actually get with these? A lot. Okay. Right, it's about a three shot regardless of where you shoot them to kill them, so hang on, one, two, three, four, five, wait, I stand corrected. If you aim for the head, it's a lot easier. We use the python a little bit here, though, because we've got a straight line, and that means collateral. Oh my god, that is a lot of them running towards me, oh my god. This is what I mean, though. The CZs are so good when they're packed. Right, let's grab this. This might end the round. I just saw them. They were still spawning in. Maybe not. I'm not sure. Nah. Oh, there, there we go. That's round. Okay. Nice. Right, six more to go. This is easy, bro. I could do this in my sleep. We actually have packed weapons, dog rounds. My Durris is just on top. Max ammo. Gonna burn through all our rounds now. Literally just gonna become like an auto turret for a minute. Right, okay, let's grab this now. It's gonna wait for them all to line up and then shoot one bullet. That went awful. Why did that just not work? Come on, we should be nearly the end of the round. Yes, there we go. Right, five more to go. If we can end on a win, I'll be so happy. Let's gonna maybe try to use one pistol at once here. I feel like we're burning through ammo like twice as fast for no reason. Oh, <clears throat> my God. Can my throat stop doing that? I'm not even, like, sick or nasally. I don't actually understand. It's like I've got a frog in my throat. We should hopefully get a dog round next round. It's so satisfying to be able to, like, spam the python, man. Because you can just reload in, like, four seconds. Like, we're not, like, bro. How long? One, two, they, a two-second reload. Let's try that again. Hang on. Right. One, two. Yeah, it's literally two seconds. Got a free max. I'm on a free round here. Let's go, man. Are we still one shot on the dogs? Hang on. Let's see. Nope. Okay. That's sad. Come on. It should be nearly the end of the round now. Shouldn't be this many dogs. Last one. Yeah, there you go. Max ammo. Are we fully reloaded? And now we are in this too. Yep, nice. I want to test really quick. In BO3, you can like buy the teleport and jump straight out. Can you do the same here? Yeah, of course you can. Oh, that's so weird. I really never use the teleporters in Dirt Reese unless I'm going for like a ridiculously high round and I'm like training down there and then I need an escape route. Got so much ammo, I pretty much don't even need to worry about it, which is a very, very, very relieving feeling considering how anal I've had to be with uh, managing it previously. Two really solid weapons as well for the round we're trying to go for. It's just bliss, man. Oh, they're spawning dogs already. Okay. Use the python a little bit more here. And there you go, that's round. 
Right, we got... Oh, God, I didn't realize how low on ammo we were in the CCs. We've got, like, two clips and a bit left on these. We've got a lot of ammo in the Python. I'm not too worried, honestly. Worst comes to worst, like, round 19, we have to, like, use grenades and stuff. But I'm more than happy to do that if it means we hit round 20. I'll just tap fire for now. Who knows? We might get a cheeky max ammo with one of these. What is that? Never mind. What is that? Oh, it's a nuke. Okay, I'm, I actually am going to grab that. Gets rid of the majority of the zombies of this round. It means I can save more of my ammo for round uh, 19 into 20. I hear another drop. What is it? Oh, there you go. We're chilling. We are absolutely chilling. I'm glad we've ended off the video on a dub, to be fair with you. Literally just got the remainder of this round and then round 19 and we're good. Is that last zombie? Yeah. Okay. Like I said, round 19 and then we're done. So glad we've ended off on a dub, though. Okay, dogs are starting to spawn in now. Ow, ow, ow. Oh, oh, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Not now, not now. Reload. So glad I picked up speed caller. How many dogs do you want to spawn on top of zombies, man? Jesus! Okay, Python time. Okay, we should be nearly done now. I hope so. Anyway, we're actually running a little bit low on ammo. I'm getting worried. Come on, please. Oh, they're still spawning, man. Have they stopped? I think they've stopped. I think they've stopped spawning. Hang on. Grab this car, but no. Uh, is that last zombie? Yeah! Let's go. Oh, I'm so glad we ended off on a dub. There you go. I just want to see it first. Go on. You know you want to. There we go. Round 20. I'm going to mainframe, bro. If you guys did enjoy this video, make sure to drop a like on it. And if you want to see more content like this, why don't you subscribe? It's completely free. You can always change your mind later. And I forgot you can do that to get a max ammo. Bit late now. With all that said, I will see you all in the next video. Bye for now.